Morning, morning. Welcome to Sewing Street on International Dog Day. <gasps> we have got an exciting day for you today. So it is the day that we celebrate our love for dogs and all the doggy friends, all the doggy friends in our life. And we can celebrate all animals too. So we are launching our um, Dog of the Month quilt. Very, very excited. Not going to show you yet because it needs to be a little bit of a surprise. Got lots of other things to have you, but it is all about dogs and pets today. And remember, I know a lot of you have been waiting. We will be announcing the winner of the um, dog competition. So we asked all of you if you want to send in photos of your dog who would be featuring in our Dog of the Month quilt. And at nine o'clock, we will be, well, um, announcing the winner but it won't be me we've got a special guest special guest in at nine so don't go anywhere for nine o'clock very exciting oh and we've got Stuart as well he's not the special guest he's the more special guest but we have got a very special guest at nine o'clock who will be announcing the winner of the dog who will be featuring in one of the months on the quilt so very exciting today very exciting and we've also got a quiz in celebration of it so um, the quiz, here's a slide to explain how it works. Basically, we're gonna have five questions running across the whole course of the morning, all dog related. Um, you need to answer them all, write them down yourself. And then when we do the final one, you then need to email um, your answers, all five answers, studio at sewingstreet.co.uk. There will be one every hour. Um, a question there will be a question every hour and then at the end at when we put the final one in message in your answers and then we will announce the winner of that before the end of the show and you will win 25 pound credit to your Stone Street account so all you have to do um, is answer all five questions and then we will select the winner at random and one lucky winner will get 25 pounds on their Stone Street it's just a bit of fun really to celebrate our international dog day because we have to we have to do that, don't we? Because we love dogs. I've got a dog. I've got a Cocker Spaniel. I know. Lovely, lovely. Message us in. What have you got? Who's your favourite dog? Always want to know your dog stories. Now, let's start off with the early birds. Talk about Doug. Look at this early bird. Of all the wonderful things that we had to have on dog day, the early bird is Delphine's fantastic Labrador. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, you will have seen this before. You will have seen it on air. It is fab. At 9.99, it's amazing value. So this is a really beautiful quality instruction booklet. There's so many pages in it. So you've got the full colour photo on the front. Then we've got all of the templates that you need to cut out. And um, well, there's all the pictures, all the walkthroughs. Now, it's all full-size templates. It's applique. There's a picture of what it looks like at, when it's finished. Um, we had to ask very specially for this because whenever we get these instructions in, they absolutely fly out. Uh, and I sit on Facebook all the time. I see all of you messaging in. You put posts in them. Some of you, maybe you've done them in monochrome. Some in um, pastels. I've seen them done in cave. I've seen them done in bright. Some of them of you have made them for a dog as a memory. Um, and this is one of our most popular patterns ever. So we're really lucky to get this from an early bird. And it's amazing. I mean, for 9 99 you are getting all of this. And the templates are all full size. And you know, Delphine's designs are beautiful, are wonderful. And at 9 99 they always fly out. But you know, we wanted to do something extra special for today. So what are we going to reduce it to, Hannah? $6.99 and that's for today only that's only because it's International Dog Day so Delphine's beautiful instructions full templates all walkthrough pictures of, do, of how to make the dog $6.99 for today only now if you've made one of these could you send us a photo just message us studio at sewingstreet.com just message us and we'll, um, we'll show them We'd love to see him. It's a really nice way of inspiring. I made um, Delphine's Daisy Cow, two of them for Christmas last year. And I went through all the Facebook first before I chose my fabrics to see what everyone else had made because it's really nice to see what people have done them in. So if you've already done Bailey Dog, send us a photo. 6 99 This has never been reduced before. 
and it's Delphine's pattern. And they fly out at 9.99, so this is a one-off. And at midnight, that will go back up again if we've got any left. Right, so it was first um, demoed on the 7th of January this year. So if you want to go and have a look at, when you get your instructions, if you want to look at Delphine's demo, just put 701-2022 into YouTube, so Sewing Street, and then you'll find the demo of it if you want to see. But it is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's an amazing opportunity. Six ninety nine to get one of our most popular fits. Uh, lots of you have done them as memory quilts. I mean, they're beautiful. Or a new home gift for somebody, or someone who's just got a puppy. I mean, they are beautiful. They, I've seen them made as wall hangings, made as. I mean, it's it's just beautiful. I mean, it's just like the you feel like the dog is really looking at you, and they work in beauty. They work beautifully. The one I did the cow one, I did it in denims. Look gorgeous in shades of denim because the great thing about denim is that it's dark on one side and light on the other. So from one piece of denim, you get two shades. Uh, morning, Rebecca. I have. Oh, I can't really go see. No, well, that doesn't help. I need the telly on. Um, I have two black Labradors, Winnie and Raven. Lovely. Well, are you going to make two of these then? You see, and also there's the good thing. If you want to make it really realistic, you can do it in the actual natural shades. So if you've got a golden Labrador, a chocolate one or a black one, you can make it in those colours. Or you can just go wild and make it really, really super bright colours. Up to you. But send me in your pictures and message me in. Love to hear from you about your dogs. But six ninety nine. It's an amazing price, isn't it? And it is really stunning, isn't it? I love the way that she's captured, not like the whole dog or just part, it's just like that little snapshot of the dog's face. It's all applique. And if you've watched Delphine's designs, they're really simple to do. You just trace the templates, bond a web them onto your fabric, cut them out and applique them on, easy peasy. And you get a piece of wall art, which I think is nicer than a painting. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, if if you if you've only just tuned in, you think what is she on about? It's International Dog Day. We've got um, the competition winner to announce. We've got a quiz. We've got um, a special guest, and we have got other animals. So if you're not just um, if you're not just into dogs, don't worry. We have got a whole host of different ones on today. So while you're checking out for this one. Oh, we have another special. Before we do the menu, I've got another special. So while you're checking out six ninety nine, now we have had this on before, but it's come back in stock. So these, um, this is a set of this is a set of five fat quarters. They're all designed by Debbie Shaw, and they are designed using her original illustrations. They are gorgeous. Now Debbie is a great dog lover. So these are the five fat quarters. Look at that one. I've got that one upside down. Just realized looking at it that way. We've only ever had these on once before. So it's 9.99 for five fat quarters. Isn't that lovely? This is official Debbie Shaw fabric. These designs are by her, but they're beautiful. They're all taken from her drawings. So that's one. That's the dogs playing in the leaves. Oh, look at this one. This is really cute. Look, we've got the Labrador and then we've got cats and spades. It's called Pets in the Garden. You see, it's not only dogs. We are covering all pets and animals and jungle animals and everything. I have a lovely cockapoo, the best dog ever. Great with kids and very friendly. I love her to bits from Joan. Oh, they are lovely. They are lovely cockapoos, aren't they? They're so gentle and sweet. Like, thank you for your message. Isn't that lovely, that one? Third of the stock of this one has already gone. This one is beautiful. I love the colour of this. It's kind of like a purpley grey. It's very pretty. All cats. I mean, look at her drawing. She's a brilliant artist, isn't she? Look at these. You can really, you can really see the detail in them, can't you? Aren't they beautiful? So that's kind of a purpley grey. Oh, now the message. Both our dogs were rescued in Spain. Bella is a Spanish Mastine crossed with a German Shepherd. Big girl at 45 kilos. And Freddie is a Jack Russell cross. Well, I hope Bella doesn't ever sit on Freddie. 
That's lovely. That's really nice. I like to hear about the rescue dogs, particularly when they've been brought over, you know, from abroad. You go on holiday and you see all these dogs on the streets and you feel so sorry for them. So well done for adopting those, but they sound lovely. I bet they're best of friends as well. Um, this one is kind of a sagey green background. We've got a cat in a flower pot, a little cat looking very wistful all amongst all the daisies so pretty that's the fourth one and then the final don't forget to check out these are flying out 9.99 oh and look at this one this is on like a a beigey colored background like a linen color look at the little sausage even if you don't have a sausage dog aren't they gorgeous i like the sausage in the flower pot lovely we always had cocker spaniels my dad said Mitzi was a thief, a cheat and a liar, but so lovable, first one. <laughs> that sounds like a story of Marilyn from Merseyside. I'm on my second Cocker Spaniel. I love them. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? And they are naughty. Mine is a naughty pants. Just so naughty, but gorgeous. There we go. Now, all of five of those, all five fat quarters, for 9 99 it's dogs and cats, gorgeous so 9.99 so if you've got anything that you want to make dog related or if you're thinking about um really i mean that works out 1.99 fat quarter they're really good if you look at the size of the pieces brilliant for epp or if you wanted to use small bits for a plique or maybe you're making half the stock's gone maybe a little doggy bag be nice wouldn't it it or lovely for the lining of something if you're making something for someone who's a pet lover that would be brilliant wouldn't it keep on checking out for this today is full of specials special so keep on checking out for the bailey one and the fat quarters because they are flying out let's have a look and see what's um let's see what's coming up today shall we so eight o'clock it's we love dogs and great british fauna so we've got lots of dog related fabric and items as well as other british wildlife and jungle animals and birds and butterflies all fauna galore and we are going to leave this, um, we've got to finish this out slightly early because we've got to get our special guest on, on air. Stuart will be with me at nine. He's my very special guest. But at nine o'clock, Stuart and I are going to announce the Dog of the Month winner. And we have got a special guest coming in to announce the winner. Now, behind me, there is da 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 the dog of the month quilt there we go so you'll notice there's a very large question mark can you see that oh that's kind of above can you see this will be our winner so we know what it is that's why we haven't put it in because we want it to be announced so this one this is marge this is going to be today's and it's already on pre-order and Stuart is going to be demonstrating at nine o'clock what to do with it and how to he's made it into a beautiful cushion what you can do different ideas for it he's made it into a beautiful question this is going to be the winner um and then these are all the other dogs gorgeous aren't they do you know i aren't they lovely so what we'll do every month we will release the panel which will have strips of fabric coordinating strips of fabric with just like we did before you don't have to make the whole quilt you can just buy one lots of people when we did bird of the month flower of the month and cat of the month bought all 12 they made them into a quilt we sold a panel at the end that had all the sashing strips on or if you just want to buy one because you want to look at that little one if you just want to make one into a cushion or a bag or whatever or whatever you want or the, the center of a quilt then you can but they will be we will be launching one every month for the next 12 months now with the winner i'm not absolutely sure what month that's going to be on but we will be announcing the winner today at nine o'clock with our special guest but it's beautiful isn't it they're so sweet but the question mark will be announced. Very, very exciting. So there we go. That's nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Um, so yes, so I'm still on the menu, aren't I? 10 o'clock, um, cats. We love cats too. Of course we do, and jungle critters. So we've got cat panels, cat fabric, and jungle animals, and jungle fabric, and jungle kits, all sorts today. It's all about the animals today. Um, 11 o'clock, um, yes, it's all about the animals. 
and we've got Stuart on with the Brother Sewing Machine. So I'm really looking forward to this because I was saying to Stuart, I don't know a lot about the Brother Sewing Machines and how they work and what we do. But it's really good because I know about the Elna ones, but it, it will, it, I'm looking forward to it. I said, you've got to teach me what is so, what's so great about it because they have lots of features of the machines that I don't have. So if you're in the market for a new machine, you know the Brother machines, you've thought about their fantastic quality, then please do stay in tune in at 11 because Stuart will be going through them in detail, demonstrating how they work. And also he's a real expert on those machines. So you can message in any of your questions as well. Then at 12 o'clock, now, when I was on the Festival of Quilts last week, I was lucky enough to interview Kay Fassett. It was fab. I read his book, went through all the quilts, asked him lots of questions, and then I, gave, I had a random 20 questions at the end. So we're going to be showing part, the highlights of that interview, because it went on for a while, I think, Paul Cave. I said, but he thought, will you be quiet? But he was very patient, answered all of my questions. So at 12 o'clock, we will be showing parts of the interview, going through the book, and also bringing back all of the quilt kits from the book that we have left in stock. So if you have missed out on any, if you want to make your very own piece of cave quilt, then 12 o'clock is for you. Oh, yesterday, oh, quick change, quick change. Quick change. Yes, so yesterday we had cold frames and hot frames on with Delphine. Cold frames just sold out in a hot, in a hot boom. But we had more stock of hot frames, so we do still, oh, oh, of hot frames. Well, there is one, there is one. So we sold out of hot frames as well. There is one left. So if you missed out yesterday because we sold out, I don't know how we found one. We did, we did reduce the price to 139.99. So if you missed out yesterday, there is only one left. 139.99 is reduced and it is our final one. So just so you know, because I know there were loads of you that missed out on them yesterday, there is one left. But that's 12 o'clock. We'll be going through all the, the CAFE interview. and uh, Now, um, if you want to shop with us, the easiest way to do that is to do that online. So go on to sewingstreet.com, click on Watch Live, that's across the top bar, and then scroll down. Now, you will see that it's in two sections. Today's show deals, that's the things I've talked about so far. So there's the Debbie Shaw Fat Quarters. And then pre-order, those are the things I haven't talked about yet, but if you want to get ahead, if you don't want to miss out, these are all the products that are coming up. All those, all, these are all the fabrics in my eight o'clock hour. Look at these. All of the gorgeous fabrics and panels of birds. So it's not just dogs today. Then there's the nine o'clock items. Here is the panel for today. The very first Marge the French Bulldog fabric panel. So you get Marge on one side, you get the Bull French Bulldog, and then you get the coordinating fabric strips to go with it. Stuart has made a beautiful cushion from that panel, so he's going to demonstrate how to do that. They are already flying out on pre-order. There's all our cats and fauna. Oh, I like the swans. I haven't seen that one before. It's very nice. All sorts. Swans and bees. Oh, and look, there's some of those velvet fabrics as well. Got some of those back. I love those. those there's that, the tropical um, velvet fabrics. Beautiful. Bees, bees are swarming. And then here's, for the, these are the Brother Machines. Now, we have got a special offer with the Brother Machines where we've put a bundle together where you get um, the free stabiliser fabric pack. And, and that one, you get all of those panels as well. And fabric. And filling on with the, with the embroidery machine so that's all on there there here are the cave quilts now if you are looking for a cave quilt we are limited in stock for those this is the book cave quilts in Wales now that has patterns for all of the quilts in it but we are selling kits for a few of them not all of them so be so be quick with that because I, we have been selling them throughout the week so um, but anyway the interview that I did with him will be on at 12 o'clock so you can have a look because he's Fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Um, right, Hannah, where shall we start? Oh, this one, yeah. Oh, well, this one's waterproof, so perfect. This is PU coated waterproof um, pet fabric. So 
it's in three colours. It's very wide. So, four ninety nine. This has got to be um, sixty inches wide. Four ninety nine. So you've got um, it, this one is like an emerald green, and you've got the paw prints all over it, and then on the back it's PU coated, so it's waterproof. I can't believe that. Hundred percent polyester, PU coated. Four ninety nine. Things, dog beds, aprons, um, bags, even if you wanted to make kids' projects with it. Brilliant for like, even if you wanted to just put it on the back of a picnic blanket or um, your garden furniture cushions or something. Or it'd be really useful, you know, if you were making covers for garden furniture for the winter. How nice would that look? So all of that for 4 99 That is extremely, extremely good value. So, so when you think about, um, you know, things like cover, covering things or bags, for the price, four ninety nine, and it is, can you see the backing of it? It is PU coated, so it is really waterproof. That's an amazing value for money. I mean, and it's paw prints, so it could be any animal, couldn't it? I think it would, I think it would look really nice as your garden furniture covers. And cushions for your garden, because you could make a cushion, say, for your garden bench, keep it out all year, couldn't you? But you could put this on the back of a quilt, and then that would be, then you could use it as a picnic quilt, because it is super waterproof. It's lovely, though, isn't it? But anything you want covering would be brilliant for bags. Maybe if you're doing a, um, a fete, like a church fete, a school fete, or if you sell on Etsy or eBay or something, you could make loads of bags with this, because it's so wide, and I think people would love them. So that's the green one. Remember, it's only four ninety nine. Um, if you've got blue, blue, this is nice, royal blue. Four ninety nine again. Four ninety nine. This is a really lovely. It's a lovely bright royal blue as well. Same extra wide, six, 60 inches. But. Um, you can make yourself a little coat. That would look lovely as a little coat. You make well, matching one for your dog. But if you could, and then also we've got red. But if you wanted all three, wouldn't they look nice patched together? But look, don't they look nice together? 100% polyester with this lovely PU backing. Only 4 99 That's amazing, isn't it? But it would be good for a dog bed, but you know, you know when you have those mats that you put the dog's bowl and food on, they'd be ideal for that. I mean, they're really good for the lining of something, but they're so attractive, they'd be really nice for the front as well. Dog blanket in the back of the car, or maybe if your dog sits, mine sits in the front foot well, but maybe yours sits on the seat and you want to make it a little blanket. I'm just going to measure this to get the exact measurement for you. Quarter of the stock has gone already. Yes, yeah, so that's 60 inches wide, 150 centimetres. Question, would the PU be suitable to make a do dog coat? Good morning from Susan in West Sussex. Um, great question. Where's this? Oh, this one. Yeah, okay. Um, yes, it would be. You could make a dog coat. That'd be super waterproof. Now, this is the same fabric, if this, set, this one has got bones on, we don't have the bones one, and this is a dog coat, it's been lined with fleece, it's even got dog hairs on it, so it's actually been used, been, <laughs> oh, so it's been lined with fleece, and then this is exactly the same fabric, but it's just the bones pattern, but it makes a perfect dog coat. And because it's so waterproof, you know, I mean, like oh, yesterday with a horrendous downpour, that kind of weather, wouldn't it be brilliant? So it's absolutely perfect. Because it's so wide, you will be able to make quite a lot, particularly, you know, and if you are making um, to sell, if you're making to sell as well, it would be really great for that, because then you can make dog coats to size. But you know, I, if you do keep something like um, a towel or that, you know, when you've, or if you've taken your dog out for a walk down to the beach, when they get back in the car, if you make a dog coat, line it with fleece, pop that on, then it just warms them up as well, doesn't it? But a really good way, or you could use it, I mean, even if it wasn't for a dog, but if I keep so much stuff in the boot of my car, it gets quite messy. You could make a boot liner, you could make um, bags for your wellies, 
just put a simple zip on the top or you could make one just with a drawstring couldn't you to keep your wellies in but make a, a boot liner then have that on the bottom of your boot then it doesn't all get dirty does it so many things you can make that's the blue one and then finally we've got the red one blue is the most popular so far depends what color you have your dog accessories i had i had red for my first one but you know it could be it doesn't have to be dogs it could easily be cats as well and this is the red one this is like ladybird red i think it's like ladybird isn't it with the black spots but the three of them go together really well so if you wanted to make a whole range of accessories you could But drawstring bags for Pete be really good for swimming kit, wouldn't it? Because it's so, it is waterproof on the back. Wouldn't that be great? Just a drawstring, put a casing around the top, put a drawstring thing. Be brilliant for your swimming bags. Or, you know, you're just your PE bags because it is waterproof. Make yourself a gym bag with it. For uh, four ninety nine. It's amazing, you know, and if even if you were making something like a gym bag or a pee bag and you didn't want this print, you could use this for the lining and use a different fabric on the outside and it will still be waterproof. But that price point, and I know it is all about the dogs, but I would honestly, if I didn't want to use this print on the outside, use this as your lining. You'll get the print on the inside, but it will be completely waterproof because it is this PU back in at 4 99 Remember, it's 60 inches wide. 60 inches, that's super wide. I can't believe that we do it at that price. Now, look, half of the stock of this has gone and been checked out. So... Right, so while you're um, checking out on that, the dog quiz. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning, see if you can work out who the famous dogs are from their description shown on screen. The winner will be chosen at random and announced on air during the 12 o'clock show. Now, don't send in your answers individually. There are five questions, one every hour. Write down the answer to each question, and when we get to... Um, after once we get the final question you can then email them all into studio at sewingstreet.com we're going to announce we will announce the winner today before the end of the show and you will win 25 pound credit on your account just one just one so question number one question number one are we ready right who am i i'm as ladylike as they come a romance blossomed over a plate of spaghetti and meatballs between me and a streetwise mutt who is that? Write it down and then save it. Don't send them in now. You, it isn't Bagpuss. It is not Bagpuss, Hannah. It is not. You obviously haven't been concentrated. Write it down. We will only choose from people who've sent all of them in in one go because otherwise to go, because we want to announce the winner today, to go through them all individually and then match them all up would be really difficult. So can you do it at the very end when the final question comes through? We'll give you a 15 minute warning to send them all in and then we will announce the winner. So I'm as ladylike as they come. A romance blossomed over a plate of spaghetti and meatballs between me and a streetwise mutt. Who am I? Write it down and then wait for the next hour for question number two and then you can win 25 pounds. Well, one person will win. One person who gets them all right, will chosen at random, will win 25 pounds today on their Sewing Street account. So keep on checking out for those PUs, they are flying out. Right, so now we've done the, um, we've done the waterproof bit, now we need the fleecy bit. So if you were making um, a dog coat, you could use the the um, waterproof for the lining and the, for the outside and then you can use this for the lining this is lovely this is 2.99 is beautifully soft fleece i'm going to measure this one again for you now this is brilliant for lining things like dog coats or using for blankets but also it's really good um, for backing quilts. Now this is 60 inches wide as well. Back, some people don't use backing fabric and wadding, they use fleece fabric because it's obviously like a wadding, isn't it? And all you have to do, put your quilt top, right side, uh, wrong sides together with the fleece and then just quilt through it. It's beautifully snugly. Now at that price, remember it's 60 inches wide, 2 dollars If you're making a quilt, this is ideal because all you have to do is top one tack one layer to the other layer or you can use the um, 505 spray and then quilt through it and it makes it super snugly but you know with Christmas thinking about Christmas coming up 
everybody loves a blanket a really nice thing people love to put them on the end of their beds to snuggle on the sofa what i would do is because this is um this is a meter and a half wide now this is available by the half meter it will be cut to order so if you buy a meter and a half so three units there's your blanket. Choose a cotton fabric that you like and just bind the edges. And then you've got a beautiful blanket, really, really simple. Cut, and because it's not, um, it's not curves, you can just cut straight strips of fabric. I mean, with this one, I think I'd choose like a mustard color. Bind the edge, if you buy a meter and a half, you've got a beautiful blanket. You can either give it to somebody to have for their pet, you can have it for yourself, put it on the sofa, put it over the end of your bed. Have them in the car, keep a couple in the boot, you know. Brilliant for kids' Christmas presents. But if you get for if you get a metre and a half, you've got a nice square. You can even put that on a bed as well. But when you're on the sofa and you're snuggling up, also it's really good for clothing as well. So if you're making little like sweatshirt hoodies, onesies, or um, cushions. I used to keep cushions in my car when the children were young, and then when they fell asleep, they'd always have a little cushion to go on. Two ninety nine. Now remember, this is cut to order, so if you do want more, it will be sent as a whole cut piece. Two ninety nine for the grey. Now we've got two other colours as well. Don't forget, special guest at nine o'clock to announce the winner of our Dog of the Month competition. We've been asking you all to send in photos of your dogs we had so many we'll be showing a few of them later as well um and just after nine i'll be showing a few of them this the first one the french bulldog is the first one that is available now on pre-order if you go onto the website and then the second the winner will be announced at nine o'clock with a special guest so much so it's just fab it's just fab right how about blue fleece so if you wanted to make a few blankets or cushions, this one is beautiful. This is like a really pretty sky blue. It's got little footprints, big footprints and bones as well. It's lovely. So if you want to protect your sofa, make a big throw, chuck it over for the dog to sit on. If your dog sits in the car and it wants something a bit fleecy. If you're gonna make um, a PU dog blanket, put this on the back of it, put the PU on one side so you could put the blue on one side and then you could put the fleece on the other side like that oh, how nice would that look what i would do is i would cut the pu and i'd cut the fleece and join match the edges up and then just bind around the two of them and you've got a really good blanket there waterproof as well the p that blue i can never get that that one this pu is on the side Good morning, I tuned in just at the right time, got the blue and the red, gorgeous, from Chant Chantelle and Dorset. You did, you did, because, but also we've got the, the fleece as well. I can't believe this is only 2 99 But don't worry if you've already checked out. We don't have a thing where when you check out your P&P &P is applied. I bought something online the other day, I can't remember where from, and it said, please check your order because we cannot add more to your order later. And I thought, oh, well, it's obviously not Sewing Street then. I can't remember who it was, but I thought, well, that's ridiculous because I might, in a couple of hours' time, decide, oh, I want some more. But what we don't do that, we close your basket at midnight. So if, you put, so if you've checked out the PU and now I'm just about to show you the lovely pink fleece and you want that, that's fine. Just check out. At midnight, your basket will be closed. At that point, the 395 P&P will be applied and not before. So um, the fleece is 100% poly polyester. So you can, oh, from Helen in Herefordshire, so you can just chuck it in the machine, easy peasy. But it's cool, and it is, and it is, there is fleece and there is fleece, and this is really soft. It's got a nice drape to it. it. I tell you what it's really good for is applique as well. So, you know, if you want to applique words or names or flowers or whatever onto something, it's better than using felt, because it doesn't fray, because it'll go into the washing machine. Felt doesn't always like the washing machine. All you have to do on Bondaweb is draw the name in reverse. So you can actually print it out on your printer in reverse. Print it, um, 
trace on the bond in reverse, press that to the wrong side of the fleece, cut it out, peel off the paper backing and press it onto your main fabric. You can then just work a machine zigzag and it's brilliant because it doesn't fray. It's the best thing for appliquing. So if you bought a bit of grey and a bit of blue, you could do the name in one and the other. Pink, the final one, we've got pretty pink. This is so pretty, isn't it? How pretty is that? That's lovely, isn't it? And remember, this is, oh, this one is 3 99 the prink. <laughs> oh, and the reason is because the because oh, prices are going up so much. So we bought the blue and the gray before, and then we bought this one more recently and it had gone up a pound. So I'm, I'm sorry about it, it's just the way it is. But I, to be honest, at 3 99 that's still fantastic value, isn't it? 3 99 for half a metre. <clears throat> Remember, you can buy more than half a metre as well if you want. It is cut to order and it is ideal for cushions, blankets, beddings, onesies, all sorts. So that's the pink one. Please do um, keep checking out on that because it is fly flying out. This one, remember the um, pink is 3 99 for half a metre. The other two colours are 2 99 Now, if you go onto the website, sewingstreet.com, if you come back and think, oh, what's the code for that? Just click on Watch Live and scroll down from there. You'll be able to see all the colours and the prints that I've shown already. Um, Hannah, which one should we do next? These two. Oh, these are nice. So these are quilting weight cotton. This is the 67. This is gorgeous. So this is quilting weight cotton and it's your normal 44 inch width. This is so lovely from Clothworks. Look at the look at the little dogs. We've got sausage dogs, all sorts, terriers. It says loyal friend, feeling fancy, let's curl up together, doggy daydreams. Really sweet. So if you do you want to make some dog makes, be perfect for that. Again, oh it's sold out. Right. Um, I've got it also in another colourway. Exactly the same, but just in different colours. Look at that one. 749, Uptown in Puppy Thoughts, in white. So you, you, the colours on here are sort of all orange and, rain, orange and blue and green and pink and yellow. <gasps> the special guest is in the building. <laughs> special guest is in the building, so don't go anywhere. Who is going to announce um, the winner of the Dog of the Month competition? So it is interesting, if you've just tuned in, go, what is she on about? It's International Dog Day. We are launching our Dog of the Month quilt. Um, this is the new, the quilt, the Dog of the Month. Every month for the next 12 months, we will be selling a panel for each one. The one that we're selling today, the first one, is Marge the French Bulldog, which is available on pre-order already. Um, then our competition winner, we asked all of you to send in photos of your dogs and I will be showing some of the dogs later. Some of, not all of them, but I will be showing you some of them later and we'll be showing them in our breaks as well. So you'll see if you can spot your dog. But look on our quilt, there's a question mark. And that winner will be announced by our special guest at nine o'clock who has now arrived. And then um, Stuart will be showing us ideas of what you can make with your dog panels. But you don't have to make the whole quilt. Lots of you have collected with the other ones we've done, all 12 and made them into a quilt like we've done here. But lots of you as well would have just bought one, bought their favorite one and made something with it. So these, are, these will be coming up one every month, but today it's the French Bulldog. Um, right, more dog fabric. So we've got dogs scattered all over blue fabric. So again, great to use as a whole piece, but really good for fussy cutting or EPP. That one's in single figures. Um, also got it in pale blue. Uh, no, these dogs are exactly the same size. For some reason, the photos on the web look, make them look different sizes. Exactly the same size. All breeds of dogs on a very sort of pale, like a turquoisey aqua colour. 
seven pound forty nine for half a meter. Okay. Oh, all of these. I've got loads of these. Yes, so these are 80% um, cotton, 20% polyester, and they um, are linen look, so they're thicker. They're almost like a canvas weight. This one features, obviously, today, because the number one dog is the French Bulldog, all over it. Gorgeous, isn't it? Now, these are 5 99 for half a metre. Remember, you can... Oh, are they reduced? Oh, ooh. Mm. £3.79 for half a metre. And this is extra wide. This is your 60-inch width. Look. So, 3 79 it's like a canvas weight, so it's really good for your tote bags. Again, if you make to, if you make to sell, absolutely perfect. Should be 5 99 for half a metre, is 3 79 Now, all of these fabrics are um, available to buy as larger piece. So, if you want a bigger piece of it, it will be cut to order. So, that's the French Bulldog, £3.79. Uh, just because we're taking the graphics out doesn't mean it's sold out. Just go on the website. But I've just got to rush through them or we won't get there. Because um, I'm running out of time. Look at this one. That's so sweet. The pug all over isn't that gorgeous so if you've got a pug or you know someone with a pug beautiful going down to three pounds 79 that's for half a meter we've never reduced these before that's amazing isn't it and it is beautiful quality as well and it's got a real nice weight for it so you can use it for um coverings as well bags cushions whatever you fancy making <coughs> less than 15 meters of the pug one left so be quick if you want that one Sausage dog. I think this might be Hannah's favourite. If you've already bought these and checked out, don't worry. Because your basket is closed at midnight, you will be charged the lower price. If you've checked out thinking, oh, well, I paid £5.99. Don't worry, you will be charged the £3.79. Oh. This one will be £3.79. We've just got to, we'll do it in a bit, but it will be £3.79. I love the sausage dog. That's really nice, the Dachshund. Love that one. That will be um, £3.79. Uh, there's the Labrador. No, Golden Labradors. We have all the dogs. There we go. £3.79 for that one. Beautiful Golden Labrador. And it's all like a watercolour painting. It's got that little shading around in an aqua colour. 3.79, half a metre, 60 inch width, linen look, but it's cotton polyester mix. But beautiful, like a canvas weight fabric. It's really lovely. That's what it looks like on the other side because it's just printed. That's the Labrador. Um, um, I've got a Dalmatian. Let's do the Dalmatian. Dalmatian with the blue bow and blue sunglasses on. Obviously, all Dalmatians wear blue sunglasses. Look at that one. Again, 379 for half a meter. Three seventy nine for half a meter. That's your Dalmatian. There's so many here, aren't they? I mean, you could even cut them out in little squares and make them and then join them all together, make patchwork if you make more than one. Or if you're doing card making, they'd be really good. I've got another dog with glasses on. Oh, this is a little spaniel. Little spaniel with glasses on. How many people have got a dog and they put their glasses and taken a picture of it? My dog has been pictured with many glasses on it. Looks always looks really confused. Really good for card making as well. Cut out one of these, sew it to just a um, a card blank, just with your sewing machine. Brilliant for that. Door stops, draft excluders. Um, it's not a tax. It's not. It's a spaniel. Well, actually, yesterday was it um, yesterday where we had somebody had a type of Dachshund that was um, a wire one or a big one, and it looked like a spaniel. So it could be. Yes, when we had the Christmas ones, that was Monday. It could be. I think it's a spaniel. 
<laughs> That's an interesting sentence. You've got the pug with the Hawaiian necklace. I have. Perfect for your garden cushions, garden kneelers, garden aprons, or conservatory. Pug with the um, Hawaiian garland. Love that. Again, reduced £3.79. And we've done that because it's Special International Dog Day. So we've got lots of specials, new products, cut, um, price cuts, all sorts, but it's purely in celebration. £3.79. Sheepdog with bow tie. Let me just open that one so you can see the, all the prints. Sheepdog with bow tie, 379 for half a metre. Um, we've got to rush through these because we've got our special guest coming in at nine o'clock to announce the window. The window. The winner. Blah, blah, whizzing through these. This one, I think this is a chihuahua. A chihuahua with a bow tie and glasses again. Look at that. Perfect for a little dog bag to put your chihuahua in. Some people do do that. They carry their bags in dog, their dogs in bags. Three pound seventy nine. Oh, it's fine if you've got a little dog. I'm not sure if you've got a great big Labrador. I don't think you'd want to do that. Three seventy nine. Um, carrying on with our French bulldog theme because that's our dog of the month number one, which is available on pre order. Don't forget if you want to get ahead with that, so we don't in case we sell out. Three seventy nine for the French Bulldog, all over linen look fabric. Three seventy nine for half a meter. Remember, it's a sixty inch width, which is great. There's so much you can do with this. How have we been allowed? Have we been allowed to reduce these, Hannah? If you just um... yeah. Right now, I've got panels. Right, okay, I've got to find the right panel. They haven't got numbers on. Is it French dog, the French bulldog wearing the blue bow tie? So these are panels. Now, these are exactly the same fabric as the ones I've been showing that were sold by half a metre, but these are 16 inch panels. 2.99, 46 centimetres square. Now, obviously, we are doing special offers because it is International Dog Day. That is, I mean, that is a cushion front, isn't it? Really, two ninety nine. Oh, <gasps> no, one pound forty nine. One pound forty nine for one of these. I mean, and that is a cushion, isn't it? If you buy the matching fabric by a half metre, you can get two cushion backs out of here. So you buy two panels, two of those. But um, we do do a lot of these in the matching. One pound forty nine tote bags, cushions. Keep on going through. Dalmatian and bow tie. Remember, this is exactly the same. So if you've already, we've already shown you the fabric by the half metre. But if you want the um, the front, it's 16 inches square, 48 centimetres. Look at him. Perfect for your presents. £1.49. That is an amazing price. And when they've gone, they've gone. So if you want this today, you need to get this checked out. £1.49. Um, I've got Labrador and glasses. Oh, sorry, not the Labrador. No, this is the one that's I. Th they're calling Dachshun, but I think it's a Spaniel. I well, I thought it was the Labrador that we had in glasses, but that's a bit further down. I thought it was that one. So they're calling Dachshun, but I think it could be. It does look very Spanielly, doesn't with its ears though. 149 for the panel. Um, next one. Oh, I've got the lab. Here's the Labrador. Golden Labrador. It's actually ni it's nice to see them because these are exactly the same images that's on the that are miniature on the bigger ones. Um, so you can really see the detail now. Less than 10 minutes for the announcement of the winner and our special guest who's coming in, who's in already, just waiting. They're getting themselves ready to um, announce the winner. Uh, yeah, have you got any leads on who that special guest might be? Um, message us in. £1.49. <laughs> oh, Hannah's got um, the pun galore. Pun galore. But be, mm, might be barking up the wrong tree, I think you are, Hannah. Uh, look, look at the detail in that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, Chihuahua. That's this one. 
So you can see, you can now see the detail, and it's the same detail that you'll get in the half meter. Because when you see in this big, remember 16 inches square, there's your chihuahua in the glasses with the bow, with a pretty bow and a blue t-shirt. One pound 49. Um, pug in the Hawaiian pug. Hawaiian pug. Obviously. Look at that. That's gorgeous. What a nice little tote bag that would be, wouldn't it? Buy the fabric that's um, printed with the miniature ones because you can get two out of those. Well, you probably get three, actually. Um, and then use that for them. But what a fun little tote bag. So if you're thinking about, you, you know, making gifts for yourself or other people, get at this time, 149 that's only going to be for today. The price will go back up again. So if you want to grab yourself a bargain, do it now. £1.49 for the panel. That's all of that's all of the panels, isn't it? Oh, okay. I thought that was a Christmas. Oh no! Oh, look at <laughs> look at that one. Look at that! It's got this one. Oh, it's a chihuahua with the red glasses. Look, it's got like Diamante patterned bandana and red glasses. That's really sweet, isn't it? They were 46 centimetres square, eight or six, about 16 inches. Okay, that's that one. Nearly, very nearly, because we haven't finished this hour early because we've got to get our special guest in. Um, and we've got loads to do. Loads to do. do we, have we got time to any more fabric, Hannah? Oh, she's choosing. She's choosing because we've got so many. But if dogs aren't your thing, we have birds and butterflies. Um, do you know what the codes are? This one? Oh no, that's the birds. Oh, yeah, I'm just trying to find the picture. Oh, all right, okay. That, I think that might be this one. Fat quarters, right. That's this one here. Fat quarters and squares, right. Gosh, getting so confused. Okay. So this is a bundle, 34.98, and this features, so you've got 45 inch squares. And it features birds and butterflies and f lots of it's beautiful. This is the Natural History Collection. It's one of our most popular panels. So in this bundle, you get two things. You get the panel that's got 40 five-inch squares. Look at them. So you've got some squares where you've got like a big image, like a big bird or a big butterfly, and others while it's all, all over print. We're featuring shades of futures and fuchsias and ochres and charcoals and blacks. Also... Also, in this, you get the four fatter quarters as well. So you've got four prints, which are all 70 by 50 centimetres each. Look at the size of them. So you get those two prints, and then you get these two. So these are ideal for using for the backing of something. So if you were using the, these for the front, if you wanted to make a cushion for the front, ideal for the backs. So for 34.98, you're getting four extra large fat quarters and 40 five inch squares that's amazing price isn't it 34 pounds and 98 pence right right and then we've got one we've got one pa one panel on its own this one makes a cushion so this is the same print and we've got um Cushion back. Oh, this is nice. So we've got the cushion front, which is the ochre print here. Oh, that's very tasteful, isn't it? Then we've got the cushion back envelope, because you obviously need two pieces of that. There's the top and the bottom. And then you've also got a piece of pink coordinating fabric. So you can use that for your binding or piping. Use this for the cushion back. And then this gorgeous um, ochre one for the cushion front. 12 99 I mean, what a stunning cushion that would be. 
with the blacks and the ochres and the fuchsias put that all together that is a beautiful present for someone because all the fabrics there you don't need to buy anything else pop a zip between the front between the envelope back or if you want to you could just do a flap opening and then use this as the coordinating fabric to bind it 12.99 right now i've got the enchanted wood bundle now there were four panels in this bundle so there's a really big saving with this one so basically, $14.99 is your savings, your one of the panels are free. So you start off with, oh look, there's a picture of all of them. You've got the 40 fat quarters, and this is really pretty. The actual images on here, we've got toadstools and we've got unicorns and woodlands and ferns. It's an enchanted wood. So you get four fatter quarters, you get the um, 20, two and a half inch strips, 40 five inch squares and 60 hexagons, all for 54.97. So that's a 14.99 saving for Enchanted Woods. That's amazing, isn't it? Amazing price. Right, so we're gonna to go to a break. We're gonna to have to go early because we've, oh, we've got to pull this fabric away for a start. Um, we've got our special guest in, waiting and all ready to announce after the break the winner of the dog of the month competition so many so many of you have sent in photos we spent ages choosing so we we will be showing Stuart will be with me we, he's going to show you what you can do with the first panel that one is already for sale on pre-order and he's made it into a gorgeous cushion so you're going to see that um, and then we will be announcing one of your dogs who will be made into a fab well it won't be the image of them will be made into a fabric panel and in a few minutes time we will be announced it um special guest will be here to make the announcement so don't go anywhere and i'll see you in about four minutes time Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses. But I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try. There's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. My top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really, just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing.
Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Look, my special guest has arrived. Mm -hmm. Look, oh, ah. special Marge. Look at her. Special Marge. Isn't she good? Now, Marge, thank you, Marge, has brought us the winner. Marge, where are you going? Come on. Yes, oh. <laughs> this is Hayley, um, Hayley from Marketing. And Marge belongs to Hayley, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> she loves being kissed as well, giving her lots of kisses. She's gorgeous. Now, she, um, she is the model for our blog, our panel of the month, isn't she? She is. This month, she is. Look at her. But one of you, it's on here because Marge has brought it with you. Thank you so much, Marge. It's very kind. Mwah. Um, she has brought us the name of the winner. So loads of you, we asked you all to send in your photos of your dog. And one of the dogs, a picture of them will be printed as one of the block of the month. So are we ready? Da, 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 da. The winner of the competition is Wilma the Dachshund, owned by Helen Randall. Hooray! And this is the picture. Oh. Look, it's a sausage dog. 
I know you're not. Are you allowed to say sausage dog? Dashing. Or do you have to say dashing? Yeah. It's a sausage dog. Will with the dashing, owned by Helen Randall, is the winner. So we will take the photo. We will print a panel. We don't know exactly which month it's going to be on the quilt. We'll let you know about that. But that is the winner. Thank you so much, Marge, for bringing it in. I know it's quite stressful when it's your first <laughs> TV appearance, but how beautiful is she? She's so soft. She's just lovely. Look. Well done, Helen. Well done, Helen. And well done, everyone who sent in the photos. I will be going through the photos later so you can see lots of them. Uh, let's have a quick look at some of them. We've got most of them. We haven't got all of them, but this is some of them. And we'll have a, have a quick look at those now. To say thank you to everyone who has sent in your photos. So look at them. Aren't they glorious? Look at this, so sweet. Loads and loads. And this is just one of the slides. Um, all different breeds. I mean, I know a lot of dog breeds, but not all of them. Not all of them. Um, we've got a sheep dog. We've got two Dachshunds. I don't know if they could all the dog breeds. That, I think that's a wire-haired terrier. They're so sweet. Thank you so much for sending all the photos. So if that's one of your photos on there, message us in. But they're great, aren't they? Thank you so much. It's such an effort, such a oh. lot of an effort mm. to send them all in. Oh, I like the, is that um, an Afghan, the one with the long hair in the middle? Hair envy. Hair, hair, that is hair, hair envy. envy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Timothy, <laughs> Timothy, say nothing. <laughs> they're beautiful. And look at the little white, the little white one at the bottom. Yeah, Bichon Frise. That is a Bichon Frise. Oh. Um, no, I love the <gasps> Alsatian in the Christmas oh. hat. That's really cute, isn't it? It's really sweet, isn't it? So, um, is everything yes? So, um, we have, I don't think we've managed to get all the photos together, but most of them. But thanks so much for sending all through. We, these will be going out in the breaks as well. Lovely. Just they're just really nice. Look at the one running. They, you've taken some beautiful oh. photos. Do you know what? Oh. It was. Are oh, loads of people sending in their love to Marge. She is gorgeous. She's so soft and lovely and snuffly. Very kind of her to come in as our special guest as well. Um, another slide. Oh. It's been so hard. You can see, hasn't, look how hard it's been for us to choose. Really difficult. So well done for winning. Um, and we've got another special guest oh, today. Have you heard? Have you heard have of you him? Heard of him? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what they said. Have you heard, this is, have you heard of him? Have you heard of him? He's Stuart. He's not as famous as Marge. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Or as soft. Special guest. Or soft. I am just as kissable. <laughs> So, I'd just you? like to say, yeah. I also love kissing. Do you, little stroke I on do. the head? I do. <laughs> yeah. Do we up trees? <laughs> well, I'm not really supposed to, but yeah. <laughs> Only yes. if I've had a few. You know? Yeah, I have done. Yeah, yeah, of course, absolutely. <laughs> on the anyway, farm. Anyway, Stuart, thank anyway. you for coming in today. Do, you're going to demo how to do, <clears throat> what to do with Marge. <clears throat> well, <laughs> excuse me, I am, I am. You are. And so let's get the is. panel. Is this one? Yeah, that will do. Is that one? I think, have you got your own? You've got your oh, own. I've got Get my own. Sorry, I'm stealing Stuart. I'm stealing Honestly, sorry. it's not nailed down. I know, it's mine. <laughs> it's mine. So this is the first panel. So obviously um, inspired by, modelled by Marge. This is panel number one. Now on the panel, you get your um, dog square. And then you get five coordinating prints. So on this one, you've got some little... Uh, diagonal lines then you've got a small pink one a small blue one and more diagonal lines in that mustard and charcoal as well so our first dog is the french bulldog as you've seen on the quilt behind so all of that is on but on the bottom of the panel you've got three little labels as well so you can use them we've put marge in one already but um, we've put you can use those if you want to personalize yours and you could write or embroider their name in there now remember you don't have to make a quilt i know a lot of you will be collecting all 12 and make them into quilts at the end but if you don't want to you just want one of the dogs you think oh, i'm going to make a cushion or a bag or something like that um, then just collect the one you want because we are selling them individually one every month and obviously one month will be wilma our winner wilma the winner 
Loads of you have messaged in um, from loads of messages. Congratulations to Wilma. You can see it was difficult. It's a yellow lab. <laughs> <laughs> What's that the answer to? Oh, lovely to see my English setter Dickens on screen. Congratulations to little Wilma what from Dickens? James. That's what a Dickens? nice name. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Secret it's Garden. And Grantchester. Yes. What the Dickens? What the Dickens? But oh. Dickens was the um, the oh, yes. gardener's son in, right. in um, Secret Garden. Yes, it was beautiful book. And he was the one who spoke to the animals, wasn't he? He was. He was. It's a beautiful book, isn't mm. it? Love yeah, that. Dickens. So we will be um, putting out the photos of the dogs during the breaks as well, so that we can show you. So if you missed yours the first time round, then you will see them then as well. So this is the panel. 9.99 it has been flying out on pre-order so if you want it you need to get it in your basket um, you can make buy one to put into the quilt buy another one to use to make into something entirely up to you we will be selling a different one each month right over to Stuart so what did you do with yours then well I think it's lovely I mean it's a really really oh look I've just covered it over I'll show you in a second um I think it's a really lovely quilt isn't it it so is beautiful super, I like so, the colors I love the colors too as well it's got a lovely bright fresh mm. modern look to it hasn't it and and done like that hanging behind me you've got sort of 10 inch it's probably somewhere in the region of about 40 inches by about 50 mm. something like yeah, that yeah so you could make it like that with simple sashing in between it um but you could use um the idea that i've put here and actually extend your panel um. just a little bit now this actually brings your 10 inch panel up to 19 inches finished wow so that's so, a super big quilt exactly so what i've done here is i've used some of the coordinating strips oh, that to create come with the panel exactly right and then just for a little bit of contrast i dug into my stash mm. and created the cornerstones we've all got a stash <laughs> yeah. it's nothing to be ashamed <laughs> of yeah no mine's really small you know <laughs> everybody talks about the size of their the stash, stash and everybody downplays it but it's really good to have a stash i'm proud of the size of mine it's fantastic to it's have it Exactly, it's a resource. Delving. It's your box of crayons. It is. And what's lovely about this panel is you've got all sorts of different shades that you can pick from. So you've got some lovely soft blues, some soft pinks, there's that golden mustard yellow, there's this soft sort of charcoal grey. You've also got colours within Marge herself, the gorgeous Marge, that you could pick out for those coordinating corners. Now I've done plain cornerstones here, this could be a four patch, you could do half square or quarter square triangles, um, it's very very simple and then I've quilted this. Now what you could do each month is to create your block like this. Oh, that's a really good idea. With backing on. Yeah. And then when you've done all 12, you can actually join them with quilt as you go. Oh, so you only have to quilt one at a time. Exactly. Makes it a bit less scary. And that it? way, you're not just collecting the panel each month. Right. You are actually going yeah. to use it. You're going to make something lovely. Mm. And then you can set that aside. And then when you've done all 12, you can join them together. Now, if you use this method, you're actually going to end up with the quilt which is approximately somewhere in the region if you put sashing in as yeah. well you can have something in the region of about 75 inches by about 85 so big double bed size double bed size quilt nice. absolutely and or, is that i guess easier because you've only got to quilt that under your exactly machine exactly right exactly right I mean, if you have a look at this one mm. and i'll just talk through how i quilted it um i used a friction pen and i first of all marked this long diagonal through the center and then I also marked this long diagonal, okay? Actually, let me backtrack, <laughs> excuse me, backtrack slightly. Once I'd got this all layered up with my batting and backing, I actually stabilized by quilting these lines here and okay. these lines here. Mm -hmm. That just holds everything nice and still. And then once I'd done that, I marked those two diagonals. I quilted those first with a walking mm. foot and then, I simply grabbed a rotary ruler, I measured three inches out from that first line, drew a line with a friction pen, another three inches, another three inches, another three inches. Did that both ways, I quilted those lines, 
and then I did exactly the same from that centre line. So I created a three inch square cross hatch. Mm. Very quick and easy to quilt. It, you know, really attractive. It doesn't detract from Marge herself. No, it looks lovely though, but it makes it look really nice, like properly quilted, doesn't yeah, it? It gives absolutely. it a real depth. But that would be much harder to do if you're working with a whole quilt to okay. try and quilt the individual blocks. So much, much easier to manage. Now then, let me just show you how I prepared those individual pieces. So first of all, you want to cut out your centre block. Now, I've got to say that I've worked with many, many panels over the years from many different fabric manufacturers. And I can honestly say... Mm. I've never worked with such an accurately printed panel. Oh, mm. It's a big that thing is to a say, clay, it is an but accolade. it's true. I mean, if I place oh, this on here, perfect. it's a ten and a half inch square, and it really is a ten and a half inch yeah, square. Perfect. You know, and I've worked with lots of panel, beautiful images, but they're the square images are rarely square. Okay. And they're rarely straight, mm. and you usually have to end up putting a board around it and then trimming it back. But these are truly accurate absolutely lovely so first thing I did if was you've got Marge in your basket the panel you need to check out <laughs> there's more people have got them in their baskets than we've actually got in stock so you need to get it to check out remember this is our very first panel of dog of the month this is the beginning we have a different one every month but you do need to check out and obviously what Stuart's doing here, because all the panels will be the same size, is you can use this for all of them as well. Yeah, you absolutely can. You absolutely can. So if you've got a favourite image or a favourite breed of dog, and I think we've all got a mm. favourite, haven't we? Um, you could perhaps highlight that. Now then, so I've cut out the square image <coughs> and easy peasy. Now the next thing that you want to do is cut out your sashings or your borders okay now what i did here and this makes things very very simple is i used the pre-printed strips now again these are printed very very accurately indeed you can either cut them out sort of individually or you can cut out the whole strip i'm going to cut out one <coughs> excuse me and what you want is to cut out a strip which is two and a half inch, sorry, ten and a half inches um, by two strips. Okay. Now I'm using the mustard yellow and the black here. And actually, to be honest with you, at home when I was making this panel up, mm. I actually cut out the entire strip. First of all, that double strip. Oh, okay. Now, of course, if you preferred, you could cut out individual strips you could piece them you could make half square mm. triangles little four patches anything like that but I thought it would be really nice to use the um, strips just as they are just kind of a bit of faux piecing the colors go together so well they do they're really cute and modern aren't they mm. oh I've lost Marge she's off the end of the table I'll go and retrieve Marge oh, for bless you, you. So I'll just carry on cutting out the rest of those strips. So this is a nice, easy, manageable way of doing it. And again, what's lovely about this panel is that it's so accurately printed that, um, you know, and the straight lines really are nice and straight. So this is fine for beginners. Oh, absolutely brill for beginners. Um, so if, you think, if you've seen this and think, oh, I really want to make that, but I've never done any quilting patchwork. I'm going to show you. It's so, so easy. It really is. I've kept this deliberately very simple okay. because you want to enjoy the image. Yeah. But I think it's fun to just to do something a little more than cut the panel out and you know join them together although that also looks lovely as the quilt hanging behind me proves and what are you using there then Stuart uh, I'm using it's a creative grids it's the uh, I think it's eight and a half isn't it eight and a half by 24 and a half is that your favorite room do you have a favorite ruler I have a few <laughs> I love a ruler if you could only take one ruler to your desert island right what ruler would it be well it would be my one from home 
because you get used to a ruler, yes. don't you? Yes, but what size you know. would it be? Um, six and a half by 24 and a half I like, or a six mm. and a half by 24. I love the extra half inch. Mm. You know, um, it is just so useful because most of the time I'm cutting that extra half inch. True. So that is really, really useful. Um, and yeah, it's it's the most useful, isn't it? Well, I've got that one and I'd say <coughs> that's the one I'd take. I mean, I, I know it would be sticking out from a rucksack a bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is brilliant. It would take you, some forward planning, wouldn't it, really, to make sure you'd got a, a rotary cutting ruler it's with you. true, but it's good because it will cut big and you can use it small. I prefer to use a smaller ruse of a smaller cut, yeah, but if yeah. I could only have one ruler. Agreed. We'll have to make sure we're on the desert island together and then I'll bring the small one. Yeah, but I must admit, I also, I have another favourite okay. and that is a big square. Right. Big square. Um, what do you because, use that for? Well, I mean, you can use this for an awful lot of your cutting, of course, but a big square is just really useful because you can cut out things like backgrounds for appliques, alternate yes. blocks. Yes. It's great for squaring up a quilt once you've quilted it, trimming the sides really nice and oh, square and true. true because, yeah. you know, in order to get a quilt square and true, you don't just want to be concentrating on this line here that you're cutting. No. You also want to be lining up here along the top. You want lots of lines that are lined up with your piecing as well yes that's true and if you yeah. need to give your quilt a little tug get it into position mm. get it square and true um yeah and then also things like you know if you need to square up half square triangles mm. quarter square triangles you know and also i love it for bag making okay. because cutting out big panels maybe for the flap on a messenger bag the base the sides yeah. of course you can do it with a six by 24 i know ruler, but that's but it's mm. easier okay it's just easier right so i've cut out my borders and you can see just by turning the strips around Ooh. or perhaps by using two different strips you get quite a different look oh nice cute huh i think yeah. i might stick to that that layout this time so i'm just going to cut out some squares now i don't know if i've got enough fabric here but we'll <laughs> see this is from my very very precious stash yes, your this very is, precious stash. yeah this is one of my very first fabric collections i ever designed this is rainbow etchings Okay, yes, Hannah. Oh, right, anyone who missed the winner, because I know you're not all watching all day long, all the time. Oh. Anyone who missed it, the winner of the um, Dog of the Month competition is Wilma the Dachshund, owned by Hel Helen Randall. Now, she's obviously not the panel today. She will be featured in the quilt at some point. Um, and Helen, you will be winning a panel of Wilma. And that will be used in the quilt that's hanging behind Stuart for the dog of the month quilt so for anyone who missed it that is the winner and the first panel today which is very low in stock now is Marge the French Bulldog who has been on air already and is now totally starstruck and hiding we're under. totally starstruck yeah. aren't we she, by Marge she's probably hiding under a desk now <laughs> <laughs> but she was gorgeous just gorgeous French Bulldog, you get you get not just the um, ten and a half inch square, but you also get all the coordinating strips as well. But it's a really popular breed at the moment, isn't it? You see so many things with it. And if you look at it closely, it's not just block colour. The actual different sections of the dogs, in fact, all the dogs on the panel are print. Oh, If you get, into it, get really close and you can see there are different prints. It's like it's a pliqued. Yeah. When you do pliqued, so you've got all the different sections have got prints on them as well echoed in the coordinating strips yeah you know one of the things i did consider doing with this panel which i think would look lovely mm. i don't know how it would work with the other panels because i haven't seen them all actually kind of for real mm. but i did think it would be really nice to create a circular aperture with reverse oh. applique. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. So if you were going to do that, the easiest way to do it for reverse applique would actually be to cut out a cardboard template that was a bit bigger than the 10 and a half mm. inch square. Draw your circle onto the cardboard. Serial box would be fine. Okay. And you, pro you want it, you know, big enough that it's going to clear 
the full image, you know, but still be well within your ten and a half inches. Cut out that circle and then cut out a large piece of fabric, cut out that circle leaving a turn under allowance, clip into it all the way around and then actually use your cardboard template and fold the edges over the cardboard template and iron them mm. to that cardboard template. You'd get a really nice smooth oh, circle. Nice. Then remove your template, flip the fabric over the top, pin it well, and then you could just sew a straight stitch very close to the edge and you'd create a really nice frame. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would so work really well. So many different things you can do with this. So I've done my layout there okay. with my squares. Simple, really simple. All you're going to do now is to sew your two squares to your strip, your two strips to your square, and your two squares to your strip. So you're going to create three panels. You want to press your seam allowances to the squares, to the square, to the squares and then everything will line up and fit together really, really easily. Use a quarter of inch seam allowance throughout and Bob's your uncle. Perfect. Marty's your dog. Marty's your dog. Yeah. <laughs> now the other thing that you can do here, you do get these lovely little name labels. Marge, and then two that are blank for you to choose if you mm. want to put a different name. Now all you want to do here, rough cut your piece of fabric out, little piece of bonder web, iron it to the back. While that bonder web is on, it's stabilizing the fabric. That's the point at which you could write the name on. Okay. With a Pigma pen, for example. Or like heat a permanent. It. Yeah, a heat set it. <coughs> Don't do what I did. I once wrote a full quilt label using heat erasable <laughs> pen. Looked beautiful. Um, and then, of course, the first time I, I ironed the quilt, mm. everything disappeared. Disappeared. Yeah. Mm. Or you could embroider that too, in which case embroider it first, then mount it onto um, some bond web. And then you want to just position that, fuse it down, and then you can stitch around it. Now, on my version, what I did there was just to use a zigzag stitch. Okay. Fairly narrow, not so narrow that it became difficult to do. Zigzag around the outside of the label. And I actually did that after I'd laid it up with my batting. Okay. Um, so it just helps as well just to make that pop mm. a little bit. It's nice to put the name on though, isn't it? I think it's a super idea. You know, if you don't have a French bulldog in your life, <laughs> then you could um, put something else in that um, mm. you could put a little inspirational quote you know a dog mm. is for life or yes, something or like that you I really know. want one of these yeah or you could just put a little date when you made each block or yeah, you could oh, write January true. February yeah. something like that um, so yeah then layer it quilt it and when you layer and quilt it just make sure that your fabric and your batting is a couple of inches bigger on all sides um, that gives you something to hold on to while you're doing your quilting and then once it's quilted I like to stitch around the outside very very close to the edge and then trim it down right. square. Right, so it's all ready then to yeah. put into your quilt or make a, into a cushion. Yeah, that's another time when having a large oops, square ruler is really really oh, useful point, just yes. to square up. Now then, I've done all of that so next up I'm going to turn this into a cushion. Okay. Um, because that's a fun way to use one block. Mm. Could also be a tote bag. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be fun. So what I've done is I, I love to use up bits of fabric if I can. So I've got a little bit of the strip panel. It's mm. not enough to make the backing, but that's okay. I've added a bit of extra white fabric there. So I'm just going to sew these together. Quarter of an inch seam allowance or thereabouts, you know. Actually, I'm using a bit more than a quarter of an inch. That's okay. It'd be such a, if you made it into a tote bag, it'd be completely original, wouldn't it? Oh, it's it the sort of thing where people go, oh, where did you get that from? You say, I didn't get it from mm. anywhere. I made Read it myself. It. Yes. Oh, this thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that as well when you, um, when I travel anywhere, you know, and I see somebody with a patchwork or a homemade bag, mm. I instantly know that we're friends. Yeah. <laughs> you yes. know? We have something very big in common. Yeah. You know, but it's a great icebreaker, isn't it? it to is, say, yeah. oh, I love your bag. How did you make it? Mm. You know, um, it's a great icebreaker. Okay, so I have stitched that down. Okay. And I actually left a bit of the selvage on there so I didn't waste fabric. So I'm just going to push that back. Now on my lead edge, that's I'm creating an envelope back here, I've just done a little double fold 
okay just to neaten that edge so I'm going to top stitch now just to neaten that up uh, let me see now let's go zero two And before I forget as well, while I'm just sewing this, um, it was wonderful to meet everybody who I met at Festival of Quilts. Oh yeah, you haven't been on since Thank you so you? much for coming and saying hi if you did. Oh, we had some lovely messages. So lovely. Messages from Laurie. So, hi Rebecca and Stuart, the <laughs> dog quilt looks great. I saw you Stuart at the Festival of Quilts, there we go. You were very busy so I didn't get a chance to chat. Um, meet Char met Charlie, so friendly from oh, Laurie. Oh, Charlie really enjoyed coming in and being, being me for the morning mm. yes and um thank goodness you know he was around which was oh lovely. did he come and look after your stand he while did. you were here he did mm -hmm. and um yeah he really enjoyed meeting everybody too well we yeah. had some great messages on the um, fan page i was looking afterwards all the people that met you and they all had photos oh, didn't they? it was really oh, nice. so lovely you know it, it always makes me smile when people say do you mind having a photograph yeah. i'm like i didn't wear this little lovely <laughs> shirt for nothing of course come on <laughs> yeah. i insist no but it was wonderful um and also very well done everybody who got their gcse results yesterday oh, yes gosh what a tense day that was i know well especially because it was the first one after lockdown I it was know, a bit of an unknown wasn't it what for, well there's been two years where they haven't taken them so that yeah. has been a bit of an unknown so well done to anyone I who know. got through it exactly hope. exactly it's so nerve-wracking especially if you did gcse well is it textiles yeah mm -hmm. Needle, no, I nearly said needlework. <laughs> needlework. A line skirt, half a bra. Yeah. That's what you made at my school. Apron. An apron, a calico apron. You always have to make a calico apron for woodwork and you that's to coming spend up a next. year making it. I know. Can you imagine that now? A year to make it. And an then, apron. so that when you started woodwork, you had the apron. Oh, I used to. Yeah. But I mean, talk about knocking the joy. I know. Uh, any possible joy that you might have of sewing. Well, also, would there's get no sort of let's of just get on and do it. It's going, right, we're going to all do this properly. We're going to pin and tack. And, and you, it sort of puts you off yeah. a bit, doesn't it? Oh, you're too quick. Unpick yeah. it all. Do oh, it yes. again. <laughs> Make a calico apron. I know. It's so funny. I went back to my old um, secondary school. I go back quite regularly, actually, um, meet with the textile students. And um, I went in there and I said to the teacher, we're going to make a zip bag. And she went, what, in a lesson? And I went, yeah, we're going to make a zip bag with like a shoulder mm. strap and all oh, you were. And I was like, of course we will. And I was like, yeah, no, on, we're going to take a year. <laughs> we're going to take a year to do it. <laughs> all right, so I'm just preparing now, making up the envelope back. So I've got my main piece, my really decorative piece, and I'm going to lay that down first because that's the bit i want showing on the outside right so this is my right side if you like then i've got a second piece of fabric that i'm going to lay that way i'm slightly by the skin of my teeth here this isn't as much of an overlap as i would normally like but you know it should be enough if you ever find that you have made a, a cushion with a slightly i always call it father christmas tummy <laughs> you know where everything's a little bit bulgy and a bit yes. sticking out um you can always put a bit of velcro or a couple of little stitch on snap fasteners yeah so when you've got that envelope Ooh. sometimes if the cushion pad's a bit now that one that needs one. throwing away doesn't it yeah i'd say yeah? so yeah. do you think but i've done like every other that's been hit by a needle hasn't it mm. i've done what every sewer does yeah everybody mm. which is bend a pin chuck it back in with all the others i know what i do is there's always seems to be a needle in mine i pick up the needle and go oh i don't want that and put it back in yeah and three pins later I pick up the same needle and go, oh, I don't want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And put it back in. That's right. It's like the really blunt pin. It. Oh, uh, what have I been doing? I know, have you been sitting on them? Look at it. Dear, oh dear. dear. <laughs> I need some magic pins. That's what I need. Mm. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, they sold out when we had them the other day. But... Oh, did we? All right, Thread Magic. Now, have you ever used did Thread we? Magic? Did we? From the same people. I wasn't watching that one. Um, <laughs> same day. Um, now, I love Thread Magic. I first found this, gosh, when I worked on a <gasps> long, long time ago. It was called something different then, years ago, on one of the um, sewing magazines. 
It is absolutely brilliant thread magic. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is part, this is one of your essential kits. $12.99. Now, you get two little pots in here. I'll explain what it does. The little tiny one is is an added extra that goes on your sewing machine. So what it does is a tiny it's a tiny little thing. Look, there's, that's what you'll get in your packet. It's just a little pot. Now you might think it's a lip balm. It's not. Do not put this on your lips. It basically is is fantastic for using on your machine thread and your sewing thread. It makes it slide through better. So if you're doing, this is what I use it for, is when I'm doing hand embroidery, and particularly if I'm using a very fine thread, you just slip the thread through. It makes it strong, makes it easier to thread as well. And it makes it slide through the fabric better. It is um, brilliant for hand quilting. So all you have to do is you get your thread and you just run it across the top. You see the little, it's got a little groove, so you can just put the thread into the grooves and then run it through. Really good for hand quilting because it just makes it that little bit stronger. Now, it's fine in your fabric. It's not sticky. It's going to leave any residue. It's not going to mark the fabric. Um, it makes sewing a lot easier. And I find that particularly when I'm using like stranded cotton, it lasts a little bit longer because sometimes if you're doing very small stitches, the number of times that your thread is going through the fabric, then you usually have to cut off quite a bit at the end because it starts fraying or it starts separating. It makes it last a lot longer. If you're sewing with very long lengths of thread, particularly when you're doing um, hand quilting where you don't want to keep changing threads, it does help to prevent it knotting and tangling. The little pot, the tiny one, you put that on top of your sewing machine and that's free that one and then your thread can run through it. Now that is particularly useful if you um, are sewing with metallic thread which can break. So it is, it makes quite a difference. So if you do hand sewing you find that your thread knots or breaks or it starts to shred a bit or you find that particularly if you're sewing on quite a closely woven fabric like some cotton fabrics are so closely woven they're quite hard to sew through you will find it easy if you use a thread conditioner absolutely love this it is i mean it's, it's been around for a long time but it is one of my favorite inexpensive sewing things it's an oldie but a goodie isn't well, it well it is it's one of those just works yeah we haven't ever had it before. Now, in the olden days, they used to use beeswax. That's right. Um, but obviously, that kind of marks your fabric. <laughs> but this does actually help to protect against UV rays, mould and mildew. So this will make your quilting last even longer. But it is a great, it's one of those traditional materials that, that is really worth having in your sewing kit magic really worth it i really? love it and it lasts for ages yeah, and yeah it's ages. a good thing isn't it little pot lasts for ages <gasps> the I'm cushion turning marge Dan through to the right side yes. marge was on the inside marge doesn't she want to was. be on the outside she's on the outside now i must just tell you a quick funny story about making a cushion Go on, then. out of dog literally out of dog my sister had rough collies and um, I've always spun, so she asked me if I could spin their dog clippings. No. Well, actually, she'd spent a year collecting the brushings, you know, from yeah, the dogs. Yeah. And she brought round like two bin bags full, you can imagine. Anyway, I spun it. I didn't True. have the wit at the time to actually blend it with a longer staple fibre. So it was really difficult to spin. But anyway, I managed it and I knitted this huge hideous floor cushion out of it which her dogs then would like whine and crawl on their bellies past because it smelled sort of because of it because it smelt of them yeah. but also sort of combined and too not confusing and very very weird poor so what thing. did she do with it she just kept it did she she did she did That's but yeah a, i bet that was not what she intended it's not what my sister intended you know but it was you it was a lot of fun you spun and knit the dogs and they didn't like it i did i did i yeah. love that but there is gosh there is a book called something like knitting with cat hair oh you yeah know. yes yeah <laughs> yeah love it love but it but it's like when you buy your dog a bed and it was really expensive and then the dog just goes mm, no i know it's true enough <laughs> isn't yeah, it do. it's they true do. Um, right then, so what I'm going to do is just put this cushion into my cushion cover. Okay. Yeah, let's do that um, and see how it looks. 
It's a big old cushion. It's I'm about... thinking, are you going to get that cushion? Well, I'm hoping <laughs> so. I'm hope... I do like a fulsome cushion. Though. Well, yes, yes. I don't like a sort of a flaccid mm. cushion. No, I always buy a couple I mean? of inches bigger. Me too. Just because then you it fills it nicely, That's doesn't right. it? That's right. I mean, this is a fibre fill um, okay. cushion insert, so it's pretty full anyway. I do normally tend to go for feather. All you've got to do is show it who's boss. <laughs> yes, fight, while you're fighting with the cushion. Um, now, don't forget, today's panel is the French Bulldog. On the panel, you've got a ten and a half inch square featuring the dog, labels underneath, and then you've got these five coordinating two inch strips, which you can use for your own mates. You can use them to make a cushion like Stuart's done. You can use them for the edges of bags. They're a really good width for handles if you wanted to make a tote bag. $9.99. Now you can buy it, save it, put it into the quilt at the end. Quilt it now, like Stuart was saying. If you quilted it now, then you can do quilt as you go and put it all together at the end. Or just have one. You don't have to keep all of them. Not everybody wants to make the whole quilt. You might just want to collect the one you want. $9.99. Brand new, brand new today. Oh, and there is the finished cushion. Mars. That looks so Cute. good. It's not bad. Is it? I think you're going to. You I'm really surprised. No, it just, it just looks really, I think the colours. Yes, yeah, cute, isn't it? Not, I, I'm not sure I would have thought imme immediately, oh, ochre. I know. Charcoal, but they it's work kind of with modern. that pink. It's a bit ice creamy, mm. isn't it, as well? Yeah, no, it's. I think it's really cute. I think cute. you're going to have to give that to Marge. You know? I think you probably am. Do you know what, though? What makes all the difference here mm. is the batting and the quilting. Yeah, it, no, it does. Quilt does. weight fabric made, it makes gorgeous cushion mm. covers, but they feel really thin and not quite right if you don't quilt them. It does, it looks really professional. 80 20 batting, okay. perfect for mm. this, absolutely perfect. Now you would want to buy a meter. Okay, so that's... Because you are going to need about a 22 inch square for this. Okay, well if you get this one, so that's... Oh well, you'll need yet yeah, two. But if you buy um, a meter, if you put two units, it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. Yeah. So it's worth having a meter. It really is, it really is. Um, slight, slight Santa Claus belly at the back, but look, even the back looks quite cute, doesn't it? It does, it's really... You've well, it's really coordinating, band. isn't it? Yeah. It's very boutique, I think. Very bougie. Mm. It is. Fuji. I think you could op open you up your own little dog shop. Yeah, it's cute. And mm. you know what I did think might be really, really cute? You could just do a little bit of embroidery around here and attach a little bell, oh. like a little collar or... Yeah, that actually, would be nice. that's cats, isn't it? No, Sorry. but dogs have little tags. Like a little them, tag, they? maybe like really a little nice. bone-shaped tag yeah, really that cute. had a name on. That would be very, very That would very be lovely, cute. wouldn't it? But that's just one way you could use Fantastic. it anyway. Fantastic. So the panel, don't forget to put the panel into your basket. You need to get checked out on Marge the Bald French Bulldog. But the others will be coming up every month between now and then. And one of them was our win, win, Wilma the winner. One of them, Wilma the winner, dog of the month, um, the Dachshund, owned by Helen Randall. And um, Wilma will be... Um, the photo I said made into a panel, the photo <laughs> will be made into a panel that, that will be available to put into the quilt as well. So congratulations, Wilma. Um, the wadding that Stu was were talking about, the 80-20, now that is available by the half meter. It's an 80-20, 80% co cotton, 20% polyester. It's one of our new by the half meter wadding. So what that means is if you want more than a half meter, say you want a meter, so like Stuart's saying, it's really useful to have that width because often if you're making a bigger cushion or anything over um, 20 inches, you'll need more and you mm. also need a bit of overhang. Um, put two units in your basket and it will be sent to you as a whole cut piece, but this is really wide. And this new one is 5.99. 5.99? For half a meter and look at the width of it could you um hold the other end certainly can for me? ethically sourced cotton now look look at this it's five nine <laughs> it's moving along we got a little dance 5.99 for all of that <laughs> should we do a puppet show let's do should it 5.99 for half a <laughs> meter <laughs> 
Um, you, you can quilt it up to 10 inches between stitching, but it's a lovely wadding. I really like this wadding because when I finish with it, I chuck it in the washing machine on cold and it shrinks very slightly and it gives mm. that lovely look to it. But yeah. that is very good value, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And it's a great wadding too. 20% uh, cotton, so it drapes really well. Mm. It's warm and cosy, but it's also light. That bit of polyester in there as well gives it a bit of bounce, gives it a bit of loft so your quilting stitches mm. show off better, which is ideal for your Marge cushion. For your Marge cushion Marge. or quilts as well. But anyway, worth getting a meat or so, but you need to put your two units into your basket for that. We will be getting more, but we've got loads of new waddings that are, we only used to do one wadding that was available by the half meter. We've got loads of them now and they just keep selling out. Are they supposed to be five ninety? Do you know, I can remember when I first started quilting and I remember mm. spending something like £55. This is like 30 years ago. About right. £55 buying a wadding to go inside my quilt. And I thought... Whoa, you yeah, a big this roll is, of it. You know, this was the quilt a, size. No, it's just the size of the quilt. Right, wow. You know? And it was like, wow, I mean, relatively speaking, the cost to make quilts has really come down. And I think that's brilliant yeah, value. Yeah, because it's probably the only thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we're try we are trying to, so we, we do try to make things more affordable for you. So we found out that if we could get, because we can buy the wadding in bulk on big, big rolls, and then we cut it to your size, so that makes a saving. It's much more affordable than buying it as a cut piece, and it's more convenient as well. And it's really nice, because quite often with the width of that wadding, if you're using it for a quilt, there's always a bit left down the side, and you can keep that to just wad um, smaller cushions or use them for your little makeup bags and yeah, things. Yeah, perfect. I have a bag full and of scraps. And also as well, you know, um, we sell quilt joining tape which yes. is absolutely brilliant make yourself a franken wadding and um, use that for your quilt yeah exactly so you don't waste anything at all yeah absolutely you pay just as much for that two inch strip as you do for the whole piece don't you inch that's by inch. true uh, so christine says i know my dog hallie didn't win but i love what Stuart has done with madge's panel uh, oh. rebecca reads so i think i'll print pictures of hallie onto transfer paper and make a cushion anyway that's a lovely idea brilliant. that's a really do it. lovely idea you say you've seen what Stuart's done <laughs> yes do it make your own yeah yeah it's a gorgeous <laughs> idea isn't it so we're going to talk about um your book because i feel like yeah. this panel could be used in one of your well, bags exactly well i've just mocked up a little something here just to show you so which one would you use well i would use the essential messenger bag the sizes okay. are perfect <gasps> because someone's written in this one. Oh goodness <laughs> me i'm so you know what if you give me a book i will scroll <laughs> over it <laughs> once i was at festival of quilts and somebody gave me one of Kafe's books and said would you mind signing this please Kafe?" so i said of course i will and scrolled my name on what can you do, eh? Yes, It was I too late then. Yes, it was. But anyway, look, I just wanted to show you. So I've mocked this up. The bag flap, of course, is the perfect place to showcase Marge or any of the dogs, actually. Um, it's the perfect size. You want, I think it's a 10 inch square. This is 10 and a half inches square. So, so this is the essential, essential messenger, messenger bag, bag from it's your towards flat the back of it. Yeah, I've one, rounded one, three, off two. the corners. Just use something, you know, sort of rounded, like a little jam jar lid or something like okay. that. We're talking of jam jar. I made pear and ginger jam last week. Did you? Yummy. I love ginger jam. Yummy, Rhubarb pear and, and ginger. ginger. Oh, that's I'll nice. bring you a jar. Could you? Some, yes. I haven't tried that. Freshly baked bread. And then just underneath, look, I've used some of those strips. Now I've only just sort of mocked this up, but you could stitch the strips together to create this kind of thing. You could use the strips down the sides and the base of the bag. Um, you might, I don't know, you might need to throw in a few extra fabrics from mm. your stash, but that's all part of the joy of it. So, and all the instructions for doing that are in here. Everything's in there, everything's in there. Yeah, it's a really neat, useful Let bag. That way. Um, and like I said, you could here just use the image mm. of the dog, whichever month you fancy as the panel, and then you could get something like, oh, I don't know, a lovely piece of pink tweed. Oh, Wouldn't that, yes. Yeah, soft pink tweed yeah, or something that like that. that would be lovely. Or grey, like a charcoal mm. grey, maybe with a very fine pink check in it or something like that for the main bag and then and just make the flap. flap or corduroy you know? would look corduroy nice corduroy would be it? gorgeous some denim anything like that um, you could add your little label if you want to mm. you don't have to you know you could also use one of the other labels here and you could actually write hand 
made or made oh, yeah, by or yes, something like yeah. that, couldn't you? Right. Right. You sound like you mean business. Right, right. right. I want you to talk me through this because I love the I love all the bags in here. Thank but you. I would like to, I like you know when you speak to an author. Yeah. It's always nice to know what the inspiration is behind it. Pretend I'm cave interview. <laughs> yes, okay. What was your inspiration? Which is your favourite one? Oh well, that's two questions. <laughs> no, which was your favourite one, and what was your inspiration behind it? Well, inspiration first. I really wanted to do a bag book. Mm. More than thirty years ago, I was very inspired by Viv, who was our resident bag lady, as we all called her. And she called herself. <laughs> and my quilt group. She came in. Every quilt group's got one. Mm. Viv used to come in. She's absolutely gorgeous. So stylish. Her sense of colour, everything, amazing. She is brilliant. And she would come in with a beautiful bag every month that she had made and everybody would admire her bags mm. and you know be really inspired by them and i was too so you know i started making bags for myself and um so she started me off okay so, and then you know, that was where big you shout out to viv but bags are gorgeous because they're a quick fix they're an afternoon or a weekend's mm. work maybe there are a few fat quarters or a couple of half meters so they don't break the bank they're useful so if you ever say to yourself i can't make another quill i have only got two beds mm. why do i you know mm. you can make a bag you can always justify making a bag now this was my lockdown project okay so, good lockdown project yeah and you know what it was amazing to really immerse myself in the process mm. and develop all sorts of different things this is a picnic picnic uh, like, I blanket. really like that Thank really you. like that one. S so easy though, because literally at the end of the picnic, you can just kind of pile everything in the center, draw up the drawstring, mm. and then it's got rucksack straps. So you can just it's pop it on your back. Inspired. That gorgeous model there. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Nice shirt. Nice, nice shirt. shirt. Nice So everything. which is your favorite bag? <laughs> um, which is my favorite bag? Mm. I love the picnic bag. That was really fun to design okay. and make because there's so many different elements to it. And it's a little bit more challenging, but it's lovely. Anything to do with food, basically. Food, yeah. I'm, I'm there for <laughs> it. Is there a cake? Um, I suppose, look, the essential messenger bag and the um, attache. I have made so many times for myself, mm. you know, and actually, you know, bags for men are few and far between. Yeah, they, well they are, them. aren't they? This looks equally good done in beautiful florals, K facet, mm. Anna Maria, you know, you name it. Or you can make it in tweed, PU, cork. Oh yeah, that's true. You know, you can give it so many different looks. One of my favorite um, bags in the book, actually, love that because it's just so useful. Well, it's amazing. So 15 99 you're getting 21. I know. So well, less, yeah, yeah, less yeah, than that's a pound right. per design. Yeah, yeah, which that's is quite a bit less. Amazing, yeah. amazing value for and money. Actually, we're selling it for fifteen ninety nine, which is even less. Um, <laughs> or is that what you said? Well, no, fifteen ninety nine for twenty one bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, who knew you needed that much for a natural look? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, one of my favourite bags is this. So I didn't want to do a single bag in this book mm. that was just kind of ordinary. I well, my favourite really is the trolley bags. Oh, I really like those because I like the idea of going to the supermarket and everyone going, mm, shopping trolley envy. I, it, true enough. That's that's the whole point. True I love enough. them. And they, and they open out so they brilliant. small trolley, big trolley, mm. cardboard box. They are my favourite ones. <laughs> but this is a zippy bag, okay? A okay. zippy bag. We all love a zippy bag. We zippy do. pouch. You know, super useful. This one has a flap on it, mm. but I couldn't just let it be a zippy pouch. So here's your zippy pouch, but attached to it, this is your flap. So it folds up and over, and it's got this great big pocket in here for things like makeup brushes mm. or, you know, dress, uh, hairdressing scissors. Obviously. Don't know why we had those. And then a clear vinyl zip-topped uh, pocket here. 
But this could also be your EPP or your crochet bag. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't you could have, have your to, hooks, yeah. your oh, double pointed nice needles. For, um, the crochet project you're doing at the moment. Yeah, isn't exactly. It? And then you know, keep your yarn in mm, the zippy that's pouch. That's lovely, isn't it? And also, it's such a good thing to use for your stash because a lot of these bags you've used lots of different fabrics in yeah, each yeah. bag. I have, I have. Although I didn't do any patchwork, no applique, no embroidery. But I mean, there's an idea. There's an idea. What I did do is it. keep all of the patterns quite simple shapes. Mm. So things like the essential messenger bag, squares and rectangles. So straight away that makes me think, let's add some flying geese. Let's add yeah, a bit of piecing. True. Well, let's add Marge you know, a, yeah. as your front flap. And suddenly you've got something that really reflects who you are. I'm just going to quickly whiz to the trolley bag. You've got to share the trolley bags because that is As my favourite. Oh, this actually probably this is probably my favourite bag of the whole lot. This is the convertible tote and towel. Tote and towel. Tote and towel. <laughs> Take that to Bristol. Has to be. That said, in the Bristol, like some tote and towel. <laughs> tote and towel. <laughs> so just a tote bag. I don't think so. No, um, it's a tote and towel. You zip down and across. You open the whole thing out. And boom! And you just buy, full... I presume you just buy a ready-made towel. To be honest with you, no, I bought waffle toweling. Oh, you actually It's really oh, easy okay. to find. And then you can have it as big as you like. Good point, good yeah. point. Question from Sue. Love it. Earlier. Yeah, we had the 80-20 wadding earlier. And that's now sold out by the half metre, whoa. Mm. Oh, and Sue saw on the website the 100% cotton wadding. Um, right, so Sue wants to know what's the difference and is that just as suitable? Because yeah. that's 100% cotton. So 100% cotton batting is what we all used, well, most of us used mm. for all of our quilts. You know, in the 80s and 90s, right, okay. you know, 80-20 wadding was brought in, in the, well, mostly in the late 90s. Right. So that was when we started using the mix. Um, cotton wadding is perfect for quilt making. It's perfect for putting in your cushions as well. Okay. Yeah. You might, I'm thinking, your where you uh, distance between quilting stitches might be a bit small. Well, it says uh, up to ten inches. Up to ten inches. So it's okay, the same perfect. thing. I mean, obviously it will shrink, but that's kind of the beauty of it. Yeah, I if quite you, like the fact it's the fact it shrinks. Yeah, if you want to avoid that shrinkage in your project, you can pre-soak your batting oh, okay. very carefully. Whatever size batting you're doing, do it in the bath. Right. Run some. Put the batting in unfolded into the mm. bath. Run some cold water. Let it sit for a little while and then um, drain the water. Okay, so and then you, if you say, so if you don't want that shrunk look, yeah, then just pre-shrink it. You're only talking about 5%. Yeah, no. It's a tiny bit. <clears throat> so you're still getting the really width of 228 centimetres. Oh. We'd be rubbish at folding it's sheets, bitter wouldn't and we? Twisted. <laughs> Be like, turn your end. No, no, turn your <laughs> end. Turn me. 228 centimetres wide. So, and obviously this is cut to order. So if you want more than that, just put that number of units. So if you missed out on the 8020, this will also work. It's the same thickness and it's off yeah. of the wrong. 5.99, unbelievably priced. And it's ethically sourced as well. It has a lovely drape too. One of my favourite things to do with cotton batting, mm. do this with 8020 as well, actually. If you want a thicker or a puffier look mm. is to double up oh, okay so what we would call a winter bat right so two layers just to prevent shifting what you want to do is 505 yeah. your two layers of and then you together. just get that and does it go through the machine okay yeah yeah absolutely just... and it also kind of if you want to do like mock trapunto mm. um you can do that so for example what you would do on match Marge, thank you, Marge, mm -hmm. is you might just quilt around the outside of her and then fairly heavily stipple the background because you've got oh, two course, layers. Yes. She will really pop. Yeah. The background will recede. Um, that's cute. Okay. That's cute. Um, trolley bags. Trolley bags. Now, I want to, my question is, did you steal a trolley? 
What we had to do, just, just a minute, we just had question, to be Hannah. terribly, terribly <laughs> discreet and sort of hide in a in a corner of mm. the supermarket um, car park, take some pictures. This is the Sainsbury's oh, car okay. park. Oh, okay. I just wondered whether you stole it. And no, took it to your back we didn't garden. steal it. No, no, no. We just took it to a convenient area. And then took some pictures. <laughs> but I mean, we don't travel like, you know, there was computers and monitors and <laughs> tables and all sorts. And people were walking by like, what? <laughs> there we go. Right, round up, round up. Right. Well, thank you for going through your book, Stuart. That's brilliant. Pleasure. Um, I'm going to make these. Do it. Really, they're my favourite. I love thank them. You. My father-in-law made them. Really? Yeah. I'm going to do He's it. He's a great sewer. Um, but thanks for your, all, all your inspiration for the for your Pleasure. cushion. And all the tips as well. It's great. I mean, I think that's the nice thing, because even if you're not going to make that, all your tips are so useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still useful. Really good. Right, so if you want the... Um, the French Bulldog, which is, there we go, let me get up the right way. Here is the panel for the French Bulldog, 9 99 now you get a 10 and, inch, 10 and a half inch square featuring the beautiful Bulldog and then you get these two and a half inch coordinating strips in really lovely contemporary colours. Now this is the um, beginning of Dog of the Month. <laughs> it's just crashing over in the sorry, background. Sorry everybody. <laughs> Um, this will be part of Dog of the Month. So this is the first month, and then for the next 11 months, we'll be doing the others. We announced the winner earlier, but in case anyone missed it, the winner of the Dog of the Month competition was Wilma the Dachshund, owned by Helen Randall. So we asked everyone to send in photos of their dogs. The winning dog will be featured on the quilt. We'll be printing a panel featuring Wilma, um, and then it will be on the quilt. I'm not sure which month it will be, but... Um, we haven't been told that but it will be featured on the quilt so well and thank you everyone who sent photos in of their dogs and we will be showing those through the breaks as well we are celebra celebrating all things dogs and actually to be honest all animals and pets as well now we started with the quiz at eight o'clock there were five questions one every hour you need to answer the questions write them down and at the very end when we've sent in the final um, we've given you the final question enter in all of your answers to sewingstreet.com and then we will pick a winner at random and they will win 25 pounds don't send them in individually we need them sent in um one by one so the question for the quiz the second question no is i soon became the center of attention for the loving newton family they named me after a german composer who am i why does that dog look like he's wearing a flat cap <laughs> yeah um, because he comes from Yorkshire. <laughs> he's, a, he's a very large Yorkshire land. tenant. Get off my land. <laughs> Who am I? I soon became the centre of attention for the loving Newton family. They named me after a German composer. So write it down, and then when we, are, when we put the last question in, which will be in the final hour, then send, them, send the answers to all five in at one go. Don't send them individually. We'll never sort through them all. And we also had some... Um, other three th brilliant tools the thread magic which is fantastic it's really good for making conditioning your thread making it stronger it doesn't fray as much it won't knot and kink and tangle really really useful you get this lovely pot of it and a little baby pot that you can put on top of your sewing machine as well really use particularly if you do hand embroidery or hand quilting it's really useful for that um, we've also got the 100% cotton wadding. Now, this is an amazing value for money. It's extra wide. You look at the price of that. If you need to buy some wadding for a quilt or cushions and bags, and then you work out, because it's 228 centimetres wide. Now, you work out how much you'll need, and you'll see what amazing value for it. So this is si like su suitable for sort of queen size without needing joining. Measure, if you're doing it, buying it for a quilt, measure your quilt and add sort of four to eight inches all the way around. That's the size of wadding you will need uh, to, so that you've got enough because you need to be able to spread it all out. And then any off cuts, or use it for cushions. If you get, this is sold by the half metre, so it will be cut to order. So if you just want a metre, just put two units in your basket. But if you need five metres, put 10 units an amazing price for 5.99 you look at the the prices when it's a pre-cut piece this is really really good, good value and it's 100 percent cotton so this is your really lovely soft traditional cotton and it's ethically sourced as well and it's our way of trying to make things more affordable for you we can buy it by the roll in big bulk and then we can cut it for you so that you don't have to so it gets rid of that middleman 
so that we can pass those savings on to you. Um, so thanks for joining me for this hour. Um, I will be back with you in a few minutes time. It's all about cats and jungle critters, jungle animals and cats in the next hour. And obviously don't forget that the next question for the quiz will be coming up in that hour anyway. Don't go anywhere, I'll see you really soon. I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost and most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffa when I would message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags as you can see I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister. And basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words and basically she said maybe when you're a bit older so my when I turned eight I basically learned to hand sew and by the age of 11 I had my first sewing machine I'm now in my late 30s but still act that eight-year-old my favorite tools or top tips so I have two best friends one's called the bulky sea maid which is this and one is called quilter steak this will help anybody, the bulky seam aid will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot, I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon, bye. Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday.
you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome back to Sewing Street on International Dog Day. Um, congratulations to all of you who got your um, French Bulldog pattern. Um, obviously to celebrate the fact that it's Dog Day. We know you don't all like dogs, but we have got all sorts of animals. So I've got lots of different fabrics, um, cats and other animals, and I have got the velvet back in stock. So, and when we first launched that, completely sold out, but we have got that back in stock again. I'm gonna start off with some gorgeous cat fabric. Now this is a lovely um, fat quarter bundle. I'm just going to open it just need a pair of scissors oh there we go sorry there's the still now in this pack you are getting 16 fat quarters which and obviously we've been doing special deals and offers all day. Now normally 59.99 is a really good price for 16 fat quarters. I mean that is a big bundle of fabric, isn't it? But we're going to um, reduce the price to 39.99 cat in the box. Less than 2 pounds. Let me just show you Oh, less than 250 a fat quarter. That's amazing. Let me show you the first one because this is where well, it's called Cat in a Box. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? So you've got all lovely um, pastel-y colours of boxes with little pussy cats in. Some of them you've got your, the tail sticking out and their feet sticking out. Some of them are looking out of them. So that's one of, that's one of the Cat in a Boxes. Um, then the other fabrics, really beautiful coordinating tones. This is another feature fabric in the collection. This is um, Cat in a Flower Pot. Oh, let me move that one so you can actually see. Cat in a Flower Pot. I love that one. Um, and then you've got, I mean, there are other sort of cat. In, we've, then we've got Cat in a Flower Pot in a lovely lavender background. So you've got the mint background. So if you love the cat fabrics, this is absolutely perfect then you've got the cats um playing with yarn or is it ribbon probably yarn actually look at that that's what they do you've got black ones and white ones now remember this this is 20 pounds off this should be 59.99 it's only 39.99 amazing i'm not sure where hannah found that 20 pounds are you allowed to do that probably not um there's the white now the single figures left on this one so you need to be very quick i'm just going to show you all the um, the bigger print ones then we've got one that's got um fish bones on perfect for every cat and then i really like all of these um low volume prints that you can use using colors and prints that are used in all of this so we've actually I need to put this, this one need to put this one back in put the cat in the box at the top right then we've got um the black fish bones and then look at all these lovely low volume prints so we've got cat faces we've got one in a um burgundy we've got one in a purple and one in a mauve now when you look at this you can see all of the colors in these prints are being f are featured in all of the other colors there are only six of these left only six. Oh, there's the other blue um cat fabric print in blue And just moving out and getting too much fabric in my shot. Right, four of these left. So the last prints, you've got these lovely low volume prints. Look, you've got the blue spot, white spot, the green spot, the burgundy spot, and the green. So it's a really lovely palette. You've got all of the cat prints, and then you've got all of these low volume um, filling fabrics that will then match, mix and match with them. Twenty pounds off. Thirty nine ninety nine only 39.99 you are saving trade remember you are getting 16 pieces so that's less than 250 per fat quarter how many have we got left how many sorry three 
So I lost you for a second when you said, the second I lost you is when you said the number. Down to three of those. So get them in your basket and checked out. Only three left. And you're making a £20 saving on those. So if you're thinking about making um, a cat themed project or you just love the fabric. And you look at that one. That's really, really nice, isn't it? So sweet. Okay, so that's the um, the fat quarter pack. What should we do next, Hannah? Oh yes. So now some of these are available by the half meter as well. So if you only want some of them, then I have got. We have cats in flower pots. Catnip, isn't it? Oh, these are the half meter ones. Oh, no, 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 you're right, actually. Yes, I have. I've got so much cat fabric on my desk, it's falling off. Right. Um, I haven't got white flower pots. Um, no, I've only, I've got flower pots in, yeah, I've got lilac. I don't know where the blue one is. Okay, sorry. Um, right, cats in flower pots. Is this called catnip then? Lovely. So it's on a pink background. I love this one. The cat's wrapped around the flower pot. Uh, so this one is 549 for half a metre. Amazing, amazing. That's about to sell out. So if you want that, you need to get that really, really quickly. Um, then we've got cats with ribbons in blue. Cats with ribbons in blue. Have a look at that one. That's so cute, isn't it? And that one has been reduced today. A special offer for you. Six ninety nine down to five forty nine for half a meter. It's a really lovely um, sky blue. It's very pretty clear. And then I've got it on the white. Same thing there on the white. We've got so many, and we're going to we're have to go through them really quickly. So, because we've got so many, I don't want you to miss any. But they will, they are all on the website. So, if I go through too quick and you think, oh, I can't remember what the code and that, then just go on the website, click on Watch Live, and scroll down. All the photos are there, so you'll be able to see them. This one is reduced to five forty nine for half a meter. Gorgeous, gorgeous, cute cats. Now that one's on single figures. Right, so we've got, so on blue, the, the cat's head. So these, these are really nice, again, filler fabrics because um, they're the your low volume. So, in, so instead of using a plain fabric, it really works well f that you can use. Um, these are really sweet, aren't they? Crashing down, 549. Yes, there is writing, and I was trying to see what it says, but I don't know. No, some of them have got a little word underneath, and that's what I was trying to work out. I, oh, it says I and, oh, it says I and A, and the brand of fabric is Ink and Arrow. I've just worked it out. So <laughs> I thought it said T. <laughs> I'm thinking why. But no, some of the little cats have I and A just written underneath them, because that's the, um, Ink and Arrow is the, is the fabric brand. There we go. So that's blue with little cats. Less than 10 metres of that. We've also got it in this lovely bright raspberry fuchsia pink. <coughs> Beautiful. Maybe you want to use it for lining or something, but you know, it will coordinate with other fabrics. But if you just wanted just a little nod to a love of cats, you don't want the full on cat, £5.49. If you've bought any of the other fabric ranges, or even if you've bought the fat quarter bundle, it'll work really well with that. Oh, the fat quarter bundle sold out. But if you have bought, this would work really well. Remember, this is being sold by the half metre. If you want more than a half metre, put that number of units in your basket and it will be sent as a whole cut piece. Very low. So if you want a little cat dress, little summer cat dress, little summery blouse. Right, the purple one, only five metres left of this one. So be very quick. If you're thinking little pair of cat pyjamas, if you want to be the cat's pyjamas, make some cat's pyjamas, £5.49, half a metre. Right, that's those. 
fish, fish. So I've got fish in white and fish in black. This is available by the half meter, so again, it will be cut to order. So we've got little fish bones. Doesn't have to be anything to do with cats at all. Just a really nice print. I like that. You know, if you were using, maybe you were binding something or you were using something for a border and you're thinking, I'm going to have a stripe. So if you wanted to have a stripe, wouldn't that be a really interesting stripe to have if you were just cutting it for borders? Just a, a bit of fun. So if you were making something um, and you were putting a borders or sashing and you think, well, I'll just put um, a two inch strip. This is so nice for that. Just a little, little bit of fun. That's the one with the white background, 549. Now, if you want the one with the black background, there we go, 549. If you want the um, the black background, very low on stock with these. You need to get it in your basket and check out because um, with these with these offers, these are the special deals that we're doing just for today to celebrate our International Dog Day. So please do get checked out on those. Right. Now, we started the show at 8 o'clock um, with special things. Um, one of them was the Debbie Shaw Fat Quarters, which we um, sold out of. And we got back. Now, these are all designed by Debbie. She is a fantastic illustrator, and she has drawn all of these. Some of them are are her dogs as well they're just gorgeous so you've got five fat quarters here 9.99 the first one is the dachshund the sausage dog in a flower pot look at him they're all fat quarters i'll just show you one and then i'll just show you little bits of all of them so that's your fat quarter with the dog in the flower pot lovely isn't he then we've got um cats on a, like a nice teal fabric on a teal background Cats in buckets. They're lovely, aren't they? The, the way that she's illustrated, and they've got such character to them, but they're so realistic as well, with little flowers popped around. We've got another one that's on a lovely um, like lavender grey background, because it's sort of your purple and your grey together. Look at the cat, he's very posh. Wistful, surrounded by wildflowers as well. Um, this one I really like. Uh, right, less, less than 20 of these left, so please do get checked out. Isn't that sweet? So you've got the two cats digging in the garden. I wonder what they're digging. Probably digging that dog, burying that dog's bone, because he's not very happy, does he? But they are so sweet. And I love the background of that. It's a really lovely chambray blue. And then finally, we have got um, a deeper blue background like a bluey grey now I think this one is um, Debbie's dog so I know that it features in one of them and I'm sure she's got that dog so sweet aren't they look at that one. Oh, bobbin it's why that's I think that is hers but aren't they really cute but would they make really nice really lovely for EPP or for fussy cutting you imagine a little hexy with that little dog's face in it really sweet anyway you do need to get checked out on these we are very low in stock 9.99 for five fat quarters of the debbie shaw fabrics um single figures on that now only nine of those left now Oh, um, I don't know what that one is. Yeah, put a picture in for me and then I'll be able to find it. A long cat. It's great. Hannah's describing to me the fabric that I'm looking for. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I've got that one. Oh, I like this one. This is really sweet. Cats on pink. Oh, what am I going to like even more, Hannah? No way, she's reducing it. This is really sweet, down to 4 99 for half a metre. Um, oh, it's cold in here. Um, look at the little prints. Look, and you, I love the way that you've got long cats with yellow stripes and white cats and cats' bottoms. That's quite funny, isn't it? And little paw prints. 
$4.99. That's an amazing price, isn't it? It's really sweet, isn't it? So anyone who loves cats or you just want a fun print, but when you've got a print this small and this scale, it's brilliant when you're doing small things, like if you're doing pinwheels and half square triangles, because what happens when you cut them, because when you're doing like flying geese and half square triangles, when you turn them, you get just like little snippets of the pattern. It's really lovely. So that's, so that's the cats in pink. And remember, it's being sold. It's your normal quilting weight fabric, 44 inch width, but should be six ninety nine, two pounds off. Now remember, be because this is by the half meter, it will be sent as a whole cut piece. But um, you need to get in quick. Lots of people multi buying this fabric. Two pound discount, four ninety nine for half a meter, and it is. And that is only until midnight if we've got any lift left. It's only Hannah's. Um, it's only Hannah's special. It's the Hannah special. It's lovely, isn't it? Four ninety nine, and it's a really pretty pink. Now we've also got the same fabric in blue. Go together really well. So they they do. If you wanted both of them, they are using. Let me just show you so you can see first. They are using the same colour palette. So if you did want both of them, you, the colour palette is the same. Now this one is being reduced to four ninety nine, but they do. They, I mean, if they do work really well. So if you want, if you were thinking about doing, you know, I think pinwheels on these would look gorgeous with, you know, if you alternated the blues with the pinks all around the pinwheel, it would look really sweet. Or just the lining for something. Maybe you, you know, you're making just a little drawstring back to. Um, even put a pair of shoes in or put some underwear in or a toiletry bag it's really nice for a lining or something like that because it's a little bit of interest i like these small scale prints because you just have to look quite closely and it just makes it a bit more fun 4.99 it's an amazing discount so these little cats you've got a ginger cat and a black cat and a gray cat and a white cat i like the um the white cat that's got red coat on and the marmalade cat really sweet isn't it so that is cats on blue 4.99 don't forget that that is a two pound saving but only till midnight if we have any left okay please keep checking out for that fur we're going to go fur oh i love this this is the only furry fabric we've got today but if you're a soft toy maker this is gorgeous let me hold it up. Look at it. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's a really plush fur as well. Um, I think it's about, um, I'm going to measure it, but I think it might be 60 inches wide. Oh, it's 100, it is a metre and a half, so it's 60 inches wide, but um, I'll put it flat on the desk. Now, it has a, it's such a lot high pile fur. But it's, um, so it has got a definite nap to it, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely for cushions or a throw. Again, buy, because it's a metre and a half wide, buy a metre and a half of it is because it is cut to order. And then if you just bound the edges with like an orange or a black cotton fabric to um, stop it, because I, it, it doesn't fray as such, but the, the edges of the fur where you've cut it will start to come off. And then you can just either hem it or bind it. You could just turn the edges, zigzag the edge, turn it over, sew it you beautiful blanket great for cushions and because you've got that width you've got your 60 inches width you could get three four cushion covers out of it or a jacket or a little backpack how cool would that be a little backpack you see loads of fur backpacks around um, or even a tote bag wouldn't that look brilliant and then just you put like a calico lining in it so half a meter you can make a couple of tote bags how cool and it would look really designer, wouldn't it, to have a tiger fur tote bag. Five ninety nine. That's an amazing price for that because it is really lovely. And look at the different shades in it. So you've got the black going down the, going down there, and you've got that lovely um, lighter section there. It's really nice, isn't it? Five ninety nine for half a meter. There's so many different things that you could do with this. Beautiful. And, and look, look at the, the nap on it. So it's a nice, it's, look, it's got a really nice long nap on it. Beautiful. Anyway, $5.99 for half a metre. Okay, next. 
Tigers. I've got two of these. Right, so the first one I've got has got a black line. Now, this is a Japanese fabric. So it's got a really nice um, weave to it. If I turn the fabric over, you can actually see it better. It's got a real texture, the black one. This has got a really lovely texture to it, which you can really feel. Um, so that on this side, then you've got this lovely midnight black background with the, the gray leaves. And then you've got um, these tigers splashing through the waves gorgeous they're quite ferocious look at that one's face but this is beautiful fabric and it's slightly heavier weight than your normal quilting weight fabric because it's Japanese fabric but it's um so it's really useful if you want to use it for something a bit more structured even if maybe you make doing dressmaking you want to make you know one of these um often get this like linen look pinafores where it's you know not not really thick canvasy fabric but just a little bit weightier it's lovely for that um that's that one. We've also got the same fabric, but on a, like an ochre background. 749, again, it's got that same lovely textured weave to it. So it is very good when you want something, if you're making like cushions and bags, you want it to be a bit more substantial. Or, really useful as well for um, for dressmaking. Make a nice little A-line, a, a nice A-line skirt. You'd want, you'd want to line it. I mean, it's not, you know, super thick, but it has got more weight to it with this texture than a normal quilting weight cotton. But you imagine um, an A-line skirt in this one, teamed with a gray T-shirt. Really amazing, wouldn't it? But you could just use it on its own. You could just have half a meter of this and just use it right. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself. Just make your cushion cover from the front of it. So that's that one. Okay. This is lovely as well. So again, now this is, this is um, slightly heavier than your normal quilting weight cotton which makes it perfect for kids bags look isn't it fun so it's it's like a um kind of a halfway between a quilting weight and a canvas so if you were making like drawstring bags or anything for children's bedrooms maybe um a ch baby changing bag it's really lovely it's fun isn't it really bright i love the crocodile there's little snappy teeth and the giraffe but they're really like naive art, aren't they? Look at the, I like the otter, his little feet. But they'd be great for anything, for children's makes, particularly bad, but it is slightly thicker. So maybe you were making like kids' little dungarees because it's available, it's by the half meter. It's only 6 99 So it is a cotton linen mix. Mm. 6 99 for half a meter. <laughs> sorry I'm not laughing Hannah was just telling me something very exciting very ex very excited I haven't been talking to you excited we've got breaking news breaking news breaking news for you that's why I've gone a bit silent because Hannah was telling me the breaking news in the um breaking news breaking news in the next hour we are going to be making a massive reduction for you i want you to know i didn't want anyone who was watching this hour to miss out in the next hour so stuart is going to be demonstrating the brother sewing machines in the next hour now they're already on offer with bundles as in you get um different ones have different ones of um, fabrics and stabilizers with them but we are going to crash the price of them both of the brother machines will be going down in price. Now, if you've already bought a brother machine, because well, I was talking about them at eight o'clock this morning, if you've already um, checked out on that, then don't worry, the lower price, as always happens, will, will be honored with you. Um, 
but I don't want you to miss. I don't want you to miss out because the prices will be going down. So if you're watching now and you're thinking, actually, I've been thinking about buying a new sewing machine for a while, this is the perfect day. You've got Stuart who's going to be um, demonstrating them, which means that you can send in any of your questions if you want to have. You know, if you thought about it, you're not sure which one you want, you've got a specific need, will it do this, is it suitable for that, I'm a beginner or I want to buy it from a friend, I'm a bit more expert. Now, we have never reduced the Brother sewing machines, never. And, but it's a very special offer for today. They've only just, they've only just told us, they've only just told us, that's why it's breaking news. Now, we've never reduced them before and it will, only it will only be until midnight tonight now they have already they, the bundles that they're in with the um the the, f the fabrics oh <coughs> Stuart has just been taken out of the gallery by Haley to to decide where they're going to reduce the price to it's really exciting I have never seen these machines reduced and I've actually never done breaking news before so it's really you know and I know there's a lot of people who think, like, oh, and I talked to loads of you at festival. Oh, I'd like to buy a new machine. I never know what to get or shall I do it? But this is only going to last till midnight tonight. Hayley and Stuart are outside talking about it now, deciding where they can reduce the price to, how much they can get away, what bet we can do. But, but we are, you know, we know that we've had a lot of um, excitement and more interest in sewing over the Festival of Quilts. There's lots of you are thinking, well, actually, do you know what? I've seen some lovely things. I really, I, you know, my machine just isn't up to what I want to do or it's not great anymore. I need a new one. Or you've been with a friend and they want to learn more. Well, this is our opportunity to help you. You know, in the same way as I was talking about the wadding earlier, you know, if we can help you with price, we do. So we buy in bulk, we cut out the middleman we can send it on so as a special deal today and it honestly will only last till midnight then we are doing two offers on the two brother sewing machines so it'll be the embroidery machine for the first time ever now I know I mean the bundle will still be in there I know there are loads of you I've spoken to so oh, I love the embroidery machine oh can I have two can I commit to and the brother sewing machine as well both of them and we've never reduced them before and weirdly we've also sold out of these two before but you know if we can pass on savings for you if we can do anything to help you and your hobby because having a new sewing machine is wonderful isn't it oh right that's why so this morning this is i was wondering why we're doing this so this morning all management they had they had a meeting this morning it was like an update on um festival of quilts because obviously we had our stand there we asked loads of you questions we had a lot of feedback a lot of people interested in getting to snow so sewing so we're thinking okay today for the first time this is a really good opportunity for us to reduce Brother Michonne sew machines at 11 o'clock when Stuart comes back on. I have no idea what the reduction is, but I think it's the fact that I've got a breaking news um, slide. I think it's going to be a pretty, a pretty good reduction. Now they put them out here ready for me to have a look. Now they've got the bundles with them. The bundles are um, fabrics. We'll be sending up. It's all go. It's all go, isn't it? I've still got. I've still got the beehive workbox i know so it's all still go because it's all been set up and this so this is this is your brother embroidery machine 11 o'clock we will be taking this low it's amazing isn't it um sandy was using this on monday unbelievable how you can personalize things and i thought she'd had it done professionally but this is in the next hour so this is the embroidery machine if you've been tempted you'd like to have one then now i would if to be honest because this is the first time that we have ever reduced them and it will only be until midnight this is in response to the feedback that we've had from you about wanting to get into sewing realizing your sewing machine isn't quite up to the job but it will be in the next hour so if i was you when you know we've ever reduced machines it doesn't happen very often 
they fly out. If you want to get a new sewing machine, I'd put it into your basket now. Then when you see the price, because I don't know what it is yet, they're out there having a chat. It's going to be a good price because um, we don't get a breaking news slide. Not, not normally. Not unless it's going to be a great reduction. I know. So they obviously came out of their meeting and went, oh, yeah, so many of you want to get into sewing and we want to encourage you because you just can't beat it, can you? We want to encourage you. And sometimes people stop sewing. I know that, you know, if your machine isn't up to the job and you can't do it, or you think, well, the one thing that's stopping me is I need a decent machine. And they came out of the meeting and said, we can help. That's why, because we, we didn't know about this this morning. So brother, um, brother Stuart was going to demonstrate them anyway, and now they're giving us a special offer. Don't know what it is, but that's at 11 o'clock. Now, I didn't want those of you watching now who are thinking, well, I'm going out at 11 to miss out. If you are interested in buying a new machine, and don't forget, Stuart's going to be on air, so it's your perfect opportunity. Message him into the studio. He will be able to answer any of your questions, anything you're not sure about, because he absolutely loves these machines. So he will be able to explain that, and it is a fantastic offer. That's all I know. And it is the first time we've ever been allowed to. So I imagine they've had a meeting with them as well. So first time ever. Right, talking about the Festival of Quilts meeting. Oh, we've also got um, ev people who came along who signed up to um, Sewing Street to get all our newsletters. Um, anyone who signed up got put into a draw to win a Moda charm bag. And after their meeting, they've come out and these are the winners. These are the winners. Their winners are Natalie Mayon, Kate McFarlane, Therese Perks, Rosie Bishop and Nikki Holmes. Don't worry, we will be able to contact you because we've got your email addresses. But congratulations. Thank you for signing up to Sewing Street. It was obviously a big meeting. So they've come out with brother, brother sewing machine reductions. When does that ever happen? When? Taking them lower. And, oh, and the Motor Charm Park winners. Anything else? Anything else? They've probably written the rotor for next year as well. Bit overwhelmed. These are, oh, these are going into baskets already. Honestly, because once they, I don't know what the price is, but once it comes out, they are gonna go very fast because obviously we don't just have unlimited stock of them. And they are, you, you tell it, I mean, I hear from a lot of you, I mean, because I'm always, when I was buying my new machine, asked a lot of people, there's loads of you always on the fan page going, I've had, I've had a brother for years, always had a brother, really, really good machines. I told one of my neighbours the other day, she said, oh, I need a new sewing machine. I said, the brother's a very good value. Yes, yeah, she's watching, Catherine. Catherine, here's your new machine. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget, 11 o'clock, get, get it in your basket. And when you hear the price, breaking news, it is worth checking out because this offer is only, gonna, whatever it is, is only going to last till midnight. So exciting. I'm really excited that we will be able to help you to get into sewing or improve your sewing or just become, you know, even more productive, which is fab, isn't it? But, you know, if you do classes and things, you can, I mean, there's not many of us who only have one machine. Well, I don't have anyone. Anyway, anyway, pop it in your basket. Very, very exciting. I've never seen, I've never had a break in you slide before. Never. That's at 11 o'clock. So don't worry, 11 o'clock, we will be doing that. Right, the same box beehive. Now you think about it, you say, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? I really like this. 39.99, sewing box, beehive, gray bees. So it's got a lovely little roof like a wicker effect roof with a handle. This is so nice, isn't it? And then you've got a magnetic clasp on the front. And then inside, you've got, a, um, you've got the plastic tray that you can put all your bits and bobs to keep it in. I actually quite like, um, you could poke things in there. Through those. And then you've got a cotton lined base. Now you don't have to use this for your sewing things. I know it's got the tray in, but you could use, I think it'd look really nice in the kitchen, wouldn't it? The middle of your kitchen table, you could put all your napkins and things in, all your sauces. It's just lovely, isn't it? We keep it storage. It's got hinges on the back. So if you want to use it for your sewing items, I mean, it is lovely, isn't it? There we go. Catherine is my neighbour. <laughs> oh! Right, next out, yeah, Catherine's my neighbour. And I told her when I bumped into the woods the other day, you need to get yourself a new machine. So Catherine, you need to get this brother in your basket 
Tell Paul, tell Paul you deserve a new sewing machine because it is a special reduction. <laughs> 11 o'clock. Oh, that's really funny that she just walked in. I know, well, I saw in the woods the other day and I said, you, I would get one of these if I was you. There you go. I, well, I didn't know that they were going to be off her. And I should have the inside knowledge, but I didn't even know that. Um, the drawstring... The drawstring bag. It's coming. Can we do the velvet fabrics? Now, I really want some of this because, because when I was at the Festival of Quilts, I bought myself a pinafore pattern and I thought, wouldn't this make, this one, a fantastic pinafore? Because this is, um, it's velvet. Oh, there it is. And it's, well, it's like a velour. It's really super, it definitely has a nap, but <coughs> um, it's super soft. I have, do you want the code on it? Okay, um, it's super soft, it doesn't fray. Now we sold this before and I've used it. I've made, um, I made a cushion, I made a makeup bag and I made a tote bag with it. It's beautiful to sew with. It goes through your sewing machine really, really easily. Um, and it doesn't fray, it's fab. It's obviously, it's not, co it's not your cotton weight fabric, it is heavier. Now, lots of you have been buying this to use for curtains, upholstery, I mean, it is ideal for bags and cushions, but I'm <coughs> sorry, <coughs> let's get some water. Um, I have got some pinafore. How nice would that look? There we go. But that's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So we've got um, peacocks and tropical birds that I don't know the names for and leaves but it is beautiful now when we first sold this we sold out so quickly it's got it is so so soft and loads of you put reviews in of things that you've made with it but it does so really nicely i made a tote bag and just used like a plain red cotton lining it looked amazing and a massive cushion as well oh that's better right so that's one that's got your um black background the green leaves and the big parrots uh, number two, this one's got a white background that ends in 23. Oh, and this is, um, has it got the width on the thing or some measure? I can't remember because it is wider. Okay. I think it might well be a 60 inch. But I'm just going to check that. I'll need to know that because I think this would make a lovely pinnacle. Yeah. Now I'm going to go with the black background one, I think, just in case I drop my dinner down it. Um, so let me do it in centimetres. So that's 140 centimetres, which is, why can't I, I'm just getting the actual print size because you know, the print is always different to the selvage. 27, 40, 54 inches. So it's nice and wide. So this is the um, this is the same as the other one, but it has a white background. Now, because it's so wide, you could probably get three cushion fronts off that. All you've got to do is put the cushion back on. Looks lovely with a bit of binding on it as well. But it is it's got a real nap to it. Unfortunately, you can't really see, can you, the the lovely um, the lovely plushness of it. It is a it's digitally printed, but it is so soft. It's beautiful quality. 8 99 for half a meter and remember it is available by the half meter so you can buy more than that i've seen people have used it for like covering chairs looks really nice with that i've bought some of this velvet fabric it is so soft love it from sylvia in wells thanks for that message sylvia that's really helpful because i know that you know when you see it you don't really know what it's going to be like but it is so soft you know, you go into some of these um, quite posh interior shops and this whole jungle print is really, really in at the moment. But this is a very, very affordable way of easy doing it yourself. Make a nice jacket as well. Jacket, A-line skirt, or for me, pinafore. And I have one more, one more in that, in this um, gorgeous velvet. Now this one, I'm quite tempted by this one because it's got animals all over this one. There we go. So I've got leopards and monkeys. And then you've got, um, I think they're macaws. And then you've got a big um, heron? No, not. don't think you get herons in jungles. White bird that lives in a jungle. 
gorgeous but that would be nice yeah, I quite like this one because if you use that they're not right like, because they're camouflagey you know it wouldn't be totally full-on but you'd just see these little animals poking out um oh a message oh from Georgia I can't find the brother machine where is it so breaking news breaking news brother sewing and embroidery machine discounts at 11 a.m don't forget now a lot of you need to put you need to put them in your basket so you are ready for the price now to find this brother sewing machines go onto the website www.sewingstreet.com don't don't search them don't go to sewing machines click on watch live and click on pre-order because we obviously haven't sold them yet and scroll down because um, when we've got things that are actually on air this is the best place to find them now there they are keep scrolling down they are already bundled and they will the bundles will remain we will honor that but the, it's the price the price is going to drop so the price that's here at the moment is n so the embroidery machine at the moment well you're getting a bundle worth £19.57 for a start you will still get that bundle of stabilizers and fabric now the normal price for these is £599 but we will be reducing these in the next hour so whenever we do this and we have although we've never done them on brothers before they go very quickly they're going in baskets already so you need to get them in your baskets this is the sewing machine now we've got less stock of that one so you there's lots and lots there's lots and lots going into baskets already now that special deal with 49 pounds worth of um, freebies fabrics and things you still get that but it's the price that will reduce so what we're saying is if you put it in your basket now then and you can you know at 11 o'clock you're ready you are ready i mean you could check out you can check out as well because whatever the price is that we lower it to we will you will pay that because we don't um we don't charge you until midnight so if you definitely want one at the lower price i don't even know what it is yet I don't even think Hannah knows. I think Stuart and Haley are still discussing it. Um, then you will get it because you will be charged the lower price. But go on sewingstreet.com, watch live, scroll all the way down till you find them and then you've got them because you really don't want to miss out. I've never seen a breaking news slide before and we have never reduced the brother sewing and embroidery machine before. That's at 11 o'clock. Ah, yes, now I saw that one earlier. So, because um, we've done Dog of the Month, Cat of the Month, we, we created Cat of the Month, we created a, um, fat, well, a fabric square, so they're five inch squares panel of all the cats of the month. Aren't they really sweet? So these are, um, where's the... Where's the quilt gone? I was going to show them. Oh, yeah, I know. But I was going to show that's what you do with it. Um, these are all the cats. So what you've got, you've got 40 squares. Some of them are just prints, and then some of them are cats themselves. So if you love the cat of the month and you want the little five-inch squares, aren't they gorgeous? You've got 40 of them. Some are cats and some are coordinating prints. I love the black cat. Look at his little face. He looks like, oh, really surprised. So you've got 40 for 14 99 you're getting a whole charm pack. So if you've, if you've got charm packs or you've got designs that you like doing with them or you love just the little cats, perfect for making tiny little, you know, not tiny, but little drawstring bags. You could just applique that onto the front. Lovely for that, for making with, for small gifts. Anyone who loves a cat or even to use for cards. So that's $14.99 for the cat fabric squares. All of the cat of the month panels that we because we obviously just finished that quilt they are available on the website or are they on pre-order they're on the watch live yeah so they're all on the um watch live section on pre-order if you want one of them if you missed out on any of the cats of the month right this is the bird of the month panel now so this was like a whole year ago um 
Now loads of these go, now these are all of the bird of the months, but printed on one big panel. So we did the birds in the same way as the dogs, where you had the bird and then all the two and a half inch strips. But these are all of the bird of the months. Um, I'm just remembering what they are. Yeah, they're all 10 and a half inches so that when you join them into something, they're 10 inches. So what's lovely about this is we did 12, obviously, but we also put in two extras because not every, but there were some that, there were some controversial birds like the pigeon. So we put in two extras. So on this panel, you get 14 birds. So you get all the birds and the two extras, but you also get, so I'll let me show you all the birds because I made a quilt from them all. But if you want to collect all of them, we also put in all 14, but as tiny ones. That's so sweet, isn't it? Just as little ones. So if you love the, if you love the bird of the month, or you weren't one, you know, you weren't with Sewing Street then, if you're new to Sewing Street and you think, I would like to have collected those, there's all of them, there's, um, 40.99 for the whole panel, it's amazing. We've got a wren, pigeon. Are we gonna reduce it, Hannah? What are you doing today? 9.99, wow. So now we, we produce this because I made a whole quilt from them. So we've got a wren, pigeon, bullfinch, blue tit, great tit, starling, magpie, Oh, this is really testing me. That one's got to come back to that one. Goldfinch. Um, Goldfinch. I think that was Nuthatch, Robin, Wagtail, and Owl. And I can't remember what that one is. $9.99. $9.99, you get... 14 birds they're 10 and a half inches square so that you've got room to cut them down they look fantastic in a really um really really simple quilt if you just put sashing between them i made mine into a double iris chain quilt um you could make them all into lots of cushions and bags and that's an amazing 9.99 for 14 birds i wish i could remember what i that one's evaded me. If you can remember what that one's called, can you let me know? It's just, um, but I, um, I, I made a, I made a project with each of them every month. That one was actually a book cover. And I can't remember what the name is. Nine, I mean, it's amazing. Nine ninety nine, fourteen mutt birds, fourteen birds. They're all ten and a half inches. And look at these baby ones. They're two and a half inches. So you can make that into a tiny quilt. If you really like to do um, miniature quilting, you could do a tiny one, couldn't you? They would look so sweet. You could do a charm quilt. I made a charm, um, a charm shadow quilt. We're using the smaller versions of these birds. These are the five inch ones, but can you imagine using the 10, and I just used 12 for that. Using this design, you could use all of those 12 and make it, and it's the simplest quilt. It's really easy to do. All you need is gray and green fabric. And then you could create one of these using that panel. And it'd be absolutely stunning. I think I'd use it as wall art. So you could do that with it. But what, what an amazing place. Get it in your basket. These are flying out. All of, well, yeah, no, actually, um, you need to check out. It's, can I hold it? Uh, you need to get it actually um, checked out. Long tail tit in the bottom corner next to the robin. Yes, thank you. That's the long tail tit. Thank you very much. Um, I want to know what this one is because I can't remember. Now, I, I made a project with them every single month. Jay, it is. Thank you very much. From, <laughs> thanks, Catherine. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Do you know, and I made a project with these every, every single month. And I couldn't remember, I made that one to a lunch bag. Of course, it's the J. 9.99, that's fantastic. It's amazing. Well done if you've got that. Get it checked out. Right, half of the stock of this one is gone now. So we did this very specially. The other half's in baskets. We did it very specially. I mean, to be honest, look at the robin on the bottom. Isn't he gorgeous? 
got a, year, a whole year's worth of birds, but they are, I mean, they're, they're not seasonal, obviously. It doesn't matter which one you put when. Maybe we always think of the robin as December, um, but it doesn't have to be. I made him into a, a table runner. If you have a look on the website, if you want any of the projects using these, there are in the instructions for them. So if you want to make, I'd made messengers bags and cushions and lunch bags, all different sorts of things. But I would just get, get it home and make it into a whole quilt. Absolutely stunning. Right, there are more people in baskets than we have for this actual um, panel. So quickly check out before it goes, because I'm not sure whether we'll be getting that back. Right, while you're checking out for that, question number three. So this is our quiz, okay? Um, to be in with a chance of um, winning, stay tuned and see if you can work out who the famous dogs are from their description. The winner will be chosen at random and announced on air during the 12 p.m. show today. So we gave you a question at eight o'clock. We gave you a question at nine o'clock and we're going to ask you the next question now. Write the answers down. Don't send them in until the end. Once you've got all five answers, email the studio at sewingstreet.com and with all five answers, we'll pick a winner from random, for a uh, random, and that person will win 25 pounds on their Sewing Street account. So question number three. I'm a friendly Great Dane who often gets bribed by snacks to take part in crime-solving adventures with my four teenage companions. Okay? I'm a friendly Great Dane who often gets bribed by snacks to take part in crime-solving adventures with my four teenage companions. Okay, write that down and then when we get to the final question in the quiz, then you can send them all in. Don't send them in before that because it'll be too complicated. Right, so um, we're just about to go for a break and after the break, breaking, after the break, breaking news after the break, the Brother Sewing and Embroidery Machine discounts will be on after 11am. We have never, ever reduced these before. The Brother is a fantastic machine. If you need a new machine, today is the day. These will go back at midnight. Now, if you've already checked out, don't worry. Whatever price that we are going to reduce them to it is definitely going to go lower. The bundle will remain for it. And whatever price we reduce it to will be the price you charge, but you don't want to miss out. We are obviously limited stock. We haven't got... We haven't got loads and loads and loads in, in the warehouse, so we are limited. But after the break, we will be taking them lower and whatever you've checked out on now, that you will pay the final price. Well done if it's already checked out. That means that you are guaranteed because you can't check out if we haven't got it in stock. And one is sewing machine, one embroidery machine. So some of you will want both. Some of you have got a sewing machine. They want to do the embroidery machine. Stuart's going to be demonstrating them. And honestly, this is the best day to buy. He knows all about the brother machine. So you can message him with your, with your questions. We have never, ever crashed them before. With the free goodies as well. Why are we crashing the price of free goodies? Anyway, anyway, I'm going to, yeah, we'll ask Kayleigh. Right, we're going to break. I'll see you back here in three or four minutes. It's all about the brother machines after the break. Now I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed, it's an exclusive interview, she has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic and there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine. Um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her, she's, uh, she, she's just, I just love her, so her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, 
period background, um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make. I, I just think they're beautiful. Um, and the fact that through the ages, they've changed to uh, make women's shape different. Um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to, get, to get sewing. Now, I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed. It's an exclusive interview. She has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic. And there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Welcome back to Sewing Street. 
Um, now, welcome back. <laughs> We are doing something we've never done before. We are reducing the prices of the two brothers, so the embroidery machine and the sewing machine. Now, congratulations and well done to all of you who've not only put in their basket, but have checked out and trusting us that we are going to give you a great deal. We've got loads of you who've already checked out. Now, obviously, Stuart is here to go through both of the machines in detail with you, but we just want to let you know what you get with the machine. First and what price we are going to go to, even more importantly. So, this is the normal price for the Brother Sewing Machine with £40 worth of freebies. Mm. Now, the normal price for this is £399. Is the normal price. Now, you still get your freebies, you get your two metres fabric, your two panels and your, and your soft toy filling. Now, that's three hundred dollars Now, I th so the freebies are worth £49. So we're kind of, that's, so we're talking like £350 then, really. Really, really. Um, but we are, yeah, well, we, yes, I mean, I think it's great that you're getting the freebies anyway. So we could have said that. Anyway, you get those two panels, two, me two metres of fabric and the bag of soft toy filling. So that's £49. But as promised, we are going to reduce it after the big Festival of Quilts meeting and the, the discovery. We got so much feedback from on you. And it's really important to us to encourage, well, to me and Stuart, to encourage you to sew. I know there's issues, isn't it? You know, I know it's, everything is becoming, things well not no nothing's going lower nothing is it's other than modding nothing's reducing in price or is it everything's getting more and more difficult so if we can help you we will so you are going to save an extra 40 pounds so 359 pounds plus you're getting the 49 pounds worth of items free so you're almost saving really like a hundred pounds and the sewing machine is 399 pounds to start with now that is on split pay as well now well done if you've got yours checked out we've actually got more people who've got this machine in their baskets than we actually have available so if you Although we've we split the price, we've lowered the price to three hundred and fifty nine pounds, which is an amazing price for a machine of this quality. We still, you can still do your split pay, three equal payments of one hundred nineteen pounds sixty six. Remember, that's no interest at all. So what will happen is the machine will get sent to you straight away. You pay your first one one nine sixty six. Then the second payment will come out next month, and then the second one will come. The third one will come the month out of that. But do you know what? It's in entirely up to you whether you do that when you come to check out it will ask you whether you want to do it and it'll be paid for by christmas so you know we we want to encourage you to sew nothing's going down in price is it nothing no dear nothing. except for body nothing so we've taken off 40 pounds and we're giving you so that's um that's 10 percent 10 percent and then we're giving you 49 pounds worth of free items third of the stock has checked I've checked out now I know there's a lot of you who are waiting for Stuart's demo maybe you want to ask some questions or something you want to see so you're trying to make your mind up but just to warn you because this price will go back up at midnight that there are more people who've got this machine in their baskets than we've got so if you want it you need to get it checked out really so the price at Sewing Street will go up to 3999 at midnight tonight. So, so, right. So we have got more in baskets, just getting an update from Hannah. Um, that price will go back up at three at midnight to 399. So this 10% <coughs> savings and also the free gifts will also be taken off. So at midnight, it's no free 49 pounds <coughs> worth of fabric and you'll lose the 10% saving as well. So there's more people that have got it in basket. So I know you're waiting to hear, so you're just gonna have to guess. Congratulations to everyone's got it. You on the way to a fantastic new sewing machine. Okay, I'm gonna go and talk about the embroidery machine. That's on the other desk, so just a minute. <laughs> so, 
the embroidery machine now. Now I know a lot of you have been talking about the embroidery machine. You're thinking about having this as well. It does like factory amazing. It's amazing. It's like the most professional embroidery. It is beautiful. Now the normal price for this is five nine nine. For those of you who've got it in your basket and have checked out already, thank you for trusting us. I promised you that we would get a discount. Um, we often sell out because an embroidery machine is a real sort of professional piece of kit. And 599 is the most amazing price. Anyway, anyway. Now, with this, here's the picture of the bundle. So, hang on, it's these. Ooh, sorry, must be dust in here. Um, you get a free pack of all the different stabilizers for in different interfaces that you'll be needing to use with the embroidery machine and a free meter fabric to get you going. So you're already making that £19.57 saving. Plus, what are we going to reduce it to, Hannah? <laughs> Right, so we're going to reduce it to five. Oh, <laughs> it will be reduced to five hundred and thirty-nine pounds. Wow! And we haven't even got the price altered because it was changed so last minute. Five hundred and thirty-nine pounds that we are reducing to. So it will, so that will be your final price. We'll get the graphics changed in a bit. It's just, it's so last minute. We haven't had it done yet, but it will be because the way that it works is that your basket will be charged at midnight, 539 pounds. So yeah, you're saving a 10% saving and you're getting 19 pound 57. £19.57 of free goods. So because when you use the embroidery machine, you're going to need all the different stabilizers, but you might not need different ones for different jobs. So we're giving you a pack with a piece of all of them in so that you can have a go of what which ones do what. It's a really good way of getting the stabilizers without buying all of them until you know the one that you want. So that is a 10% saving. I mean, it's already a fantastic price. £539. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so we need to, we're just, um, but don't worry, you will pay 539, we've just got issues, because it's so late, they just come out of this meeting, they need to change it all, but you are, basically with the, both the machines, you are going to be saving 10%, now that is only till midnight, so, right, so if you buy that on split pay, it's £179.66, three equal payments, you pay one now, and then you get it sent straight away and then the other two. It is interest free and it is entirely up to you. It's a way of you spreading the cost. You can make your 10% saving today. You can spread the cost of payments. It'll all be done and dusted by Christmas and then you'll get your, um, your fantastic machine. Now, um, Stuart's gonna demonstrate how to use them now. How exciting to oh get them on goodness. your show. I know, I know. I have to say, I did have something to do with the did you? I did. Did I you? Did. What did you say? I snuck upstairs. You know. Thank I'm an you. Encourager. I've got my same machine from Georgina Yay. Warwickshire. Yay! Well done, Georgina. Fabulous. Fabulous. That's brilliant. It's great. It is great. Mm. Right. Okay. Sorry to say this so early on, but this same machine, this one, we have got less than twenty. Less than 20, we haven't even started the demo. Less no. than 20. Should we crack on? Yes, yeah, so Let's did you go on. and have a word? I did go and have a word. I did go and have a word. You know, I'm an encourager. What can I say? Sue me. You know, well, I want everyone important. to the sew. The more people we get sewing, the more people <laughs> that can have joy. You know, it's so important. But what is absolutely critical is that you've got the right sewing machine. Because if you've got the right sewing machine, it's going to grow with you. I know, it's just... The worst mistake, and we all make this, whether it's with our sewing machine, it's mostly with our sewing machine, or with something else, we buy maybe cheaper, smaller, mm. more basic, mm. we get over that within six months, am I right? Within mm. six months, actually, usually within about six days or six weeks, we think, you know what, mm. I've bought the wrong machine here, this doesn't allow me to grow. Yeah. And um, so, 
why is the brother different well first and foremost you know it's a brand that we all know yeah, we all years. know the great brand of brother oh i mean absolutely well over a hundred years tens of millions of domestic sewing machines sold all around the world this is a brand who really know what we want and deliver it in such a user-friendly fashion mm -hmm. you, you know you might be alarmed to begin with at the thought of computerized sewing machine and wonder do i need a computer is there something to plug in yeah, do i, I have know. to I update think the these first things time I, saw them, I thought oh is that going to be really tricky then exactly right and i get that but what it means <clears> is having that computerized function means that the machine's got an intelligence it's got a brain often greater than mine and it helps <laughs> us along the way so look i've just switched it on and you can see you've got this gorgeous bright LCD display and that tells us the stitch that we've selected, the stitch width, the mm. stitch length and also the necessary foot. If you have a close look you should be able to see that for stitch 00, zero you need the J foot, stitch number one J foot and uh, stitch length is standard 2.5 stitch width of 0.0 .0. those are the sort of default settings right but we can change all of that so if we want to change our stitch it's tens add or minus and then units add or minus i mean that's really easy <laughs> yeah. if you want stitch nine by the way the easiest way to do it is go to 10 and then drop oh <laughs> <laughs> there you go um, that's mm. the easiest way to do it rather than pressing nine times. Um, stitch length down and up, uh, easy to do that. Stitch width, exactly the same. Um, when that sort of ring around it disappears, that means you've gone outside of the default setting. Okay. But, you know, absolutely fine to do that. And it always tells us what stitch we need. Now, in terms of stitches, on our FS250, as the name suggests, we've got 250 stitches. Let me Whoa. give you a quick show Whoa. around those. So to start with, our first sort of 100 are our utility Only 13 so much breaking news. 13 sewing machines remaining, 13. So you do need to get, uh, well done Hayley and the team, making a nice machine more affordable, makes so much sense. You'll enjoy sewing and buy more f um, fabric for your projects from Sue in Staffordshire. Well, actually, I think we need to be f um, thanking Stuart, who went up and twisted their arms. Hey, after they I'm came a out very of the meeting. persuasive person. Clearly, That's clearly. A very persuasive did you do person. a deal with them? I, do you know, I, yeah. I promised all sorts. Yeah. I will go into it now. No. You can buy me a drink later and I'll tell the show, you. We'll have a catch up. But look, what you've got here are all your utility stitches to begin with. So, straight stitches with your needle in different position. All of the stitches that you need for sewing stretch fabrics. So, for example, if you want to sew jersey, t-shirt fabric. What about lycra? Yeah. Um, lovely. Make your own yoga pants. What about sewing really like thick, heavy fabrics? Voile. Mm. What about denim? PU. Leather. Right. Thick upholstery fabrics. We can do all of those things. Our machine, our brother FS250 can cope with all of them then you've got some decorative stitches that are going to be useful or some more utility stitches that are going to be really useful for things like dressmaking mm. so we've got over edge stitching function and so I presume all of this is in the manual oh gosh you've got your what, manual of what course what you do what which one is for what yeah you really do but and I mean that is great bedtime reading you <laughs> can if you buy in fact here's my top tip if you've bought or are thinking about buying the FS250 Go online, download the manual oh, in advance. In advance. Start reading it now while you're waiting for your machine. Then literally Absolutely. the minute it arrives, yeah. you can hit the you're ground there. running. Anyone getting this Brother FS250 really won't be disappointed. I love mine. So many fab features. Love the needle threader from Claire and Tewksbury. Oh, Claire, I love Thanks, the needle Claire. threader Thanks, too. Claire, for your message. When I was going to put my contact lens in, normally when I'm sewing on air, mm. I always put the Harry Potters on <laughs> because I have to go like this to thread the needle manually because usually I can't work out the needle threaders. The Brother one is so easy to use. It makes such a difference, doesn't it? It really when you does. Can, because otherwise you're trying to get it... Oh, just, I know yeah, really and hard. you know also machines have needle threaders mm. but I find most of them over complicated right. the brother is really easy okay. and straightforward so then this is something I love and I can't believe that other manufacturers haven't copied this the flip chart 
Oh. I mean, how genius is this? That's brilliant. You know? Yeah, right. yeah you're right, actually. I love that. <laughs> Here are, you know, all our decorative stitches, satin stitches, heirloom embroidery stitches, and then some that have been flipped or mirrored. So that's great if you want to do it, flip one way, flip the other way, then you've got a new, whole new pattern. Mm. What a lovely decorative edging. Just want to go back for a second and show you, look at all these buttonholes, 10 different buttonholes. Now you might wonder, why 10? Mm. My old, my old machine's got one buttonhole. And yeah, it's, it's called the zigzag. And it's and, <laughs> and you set it manually, and you have to measure every step of it and mm. do it all. Whoa! It's not like that anymore. No. These are all automatic one-step buttonhole. That means I'll sew one in a second. You drop your press the foot, you press on go or put your foot on the pedal and the whole buttonhole stitches out. It'll even measure your buttonhole for oh, you wow. based on the button that you're going to put through it. And I think sometimes we're put off putting buttons in things, even if it's in the back of an envelope cushion. You think, oh, I don't want to do the buttonhole. Well, it won't be very neat. It's so easy. I'm going to sew a buttonhole now and just show you how easy it is. Let me just flip this around. So within your standard accessory pack, you get things like your buttonhole mm. foot. And I just want to show you on the back. Let me just show you. Move all the white stuff out of the way. Can you see you have this slider, mm. right? So what you do, grab my lovely jar of buttons. <laughs> What is it about buttons in a jar? Okay, so here's the button that I want to sew. So what I'm going to do is pop it into that little holder and I'm going to push it back until it's held within that, okay? Now, um, just leave your button in there, it's not going to fall out. This measurement measures not only the length, but also the depth of the button. Oh, okay. And so your sewing machine now is going to recognise the size of that button and sew oh, a button because it'd have to be longer if it was deeper. Exactly right. If it right. was a thick button. Exactly right. Okay. So what I'm going to do, here's how you change your presser feet for the main part. Lift your presser foot up. Do you see this little black button at the back? You're going to push that in and the foot just drops off. Easy. Easy peasy. All of your feet have got a little metal bar. You line that up underneath the presser foot and then drop the presser foot down onto it and it will grip it and that's it. It's like skis. They're exactly it's like skis. skis. They're exactly like skis. Now there's one thing that you need to do in order to sew a buttonhole. You have to pull a little lever down, but let me just show you why a computerized machine is more important. So I'm going to pick my buttonhole. I'm going to pick buttonhole 38. Why is okay. that then? Hmm? Why is that? Is that just your favourite one? Buttonhole 38. It's just a regular rectangular okay buttonhole okay i'm going to grab some fabric now remember i haven't pulled that lever down okay i've forgotten bex oh, i've forgotten no why have you honestly the lever? what am i like well now it's not working it's beeping because you, you haven't hear pressed the lever right exactly it's coming up error three well you might not know what error three is but you've got a manual for that mm. but um you know what probably it's going to be enough to think, hang on, I'm doing buttonholes and I haven't pulled that lever down. So we pull that lever down and now we are ready to go. Now you can sew your with your machine. What's either. the lever for then? The lever, it, it all engages that measuring oh, system. Oh, okay, so it's only used, the lever is just used for the buttonhole. Right, exactly oh. right. Um, you can sew with a press, with a pedal or without. If you want to sew without the pedal, just pull it out. There's a start stop button at the front. Oh, so if you are like in a wheelchair or your mobility issue, you don't have to use a pedal. Right, That's exactly really important right. to know. So let's sew this buttonhole. So it's sewing the entire thing. It does not need me to set lengths or widths. No, it's just doing it. Yeah, it's just doing it. Sewing that bottom bar tack. It's sewing the right hand side. It's sewing the top bar tack. And then it's going to lock. Hi, I have this machine and it's great. And for the very first time, I made a buttonhole. No, I can't stop. It's so easy to use <laughs> and a great price. Love Teresa and Lincolnshire. Oh, thanks, Teresa. That's a lovely message. Well, exactly. And I think even like just, it's not always going to be your dressmaking, is it? That you no. need them for cushions. And well, I was doing cushions earlier, wasn't I? A cushion. Mm. And I said about the sort of, you know, the Santa Claus effect where that, you know. Where the 
bulge. Envelope back bulges mm. a little bit. Stick a couple of buttonholes in. If you've never done them before, they can be a scary thing. And you but can look, do them in different look how colours. Easy that was. And that's beautiful, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that neat? Really neat. Now, then all you're going to do is use your um, seam ripper to open that up. I'm just going to grab my seam ripper <coughs> out of my handy little tool basket. There we go. And when you cut your um, buttonholes open, I'm just going to grab a pin. And here's a little tip. So you're always going to be cutting away from yourself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push this pin through international dog day and all I, I can hear is can dog you hear barking. barking I can who's barking is it you Hannah <laughs> and then I'm going to put my seam ripper you can buy chisels they are really super and neat but all I'm going to do then is cut straight down the center and that pin is just going to stop me cutting oh, okay. any further than so the end and there is my buttonhole all opened up and good to go. And if I just grab that button that I used earlier on, that is going to fit, just look, beautifully, snugly, perfectly through that buttonhole because my brother FS250 measured it for me. Wow, that is that is amazing. Now we've done a buttonhole. Should we sew Love the button that. on? Yeah, uh, let's really? Sew the, let's sew the button on. Hey, listen, I haven't got time. Mm, no. Have you got time to mm. sew buttonholes by hand? No, well, they never, they never look as neat. So also included as standard is a button sewing foot. Oh, look Check at this that. bad boy out, yeah? <laughs> so it's got like little blue grippy feet mm -hmm. on the front. They're gonna hold your button I've never in place. used a button foot ever. Really? No, never. Awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna snap this on just mm -hmm. as before. It's like its own foot. Right, exactly right. Okay. So neat. Now, so many machines, I mean, even like, 2,000 pound machines don't have a button sewing foot. This is 359 pounds. I don't even know if mine has. I'm going to have a look as soon as I get home. Amazing. That is a, yeah, that is quite a big deal actually. It's really cool, isn't it? It's really cool. What I'm going to do also, I'm going to drop the feed dogs. Okay. okay. Because to sew a button on, this is what I need to do. I need my needle to swing left to right, left to right, to stitch through the holes. Yes. Right? What I don't want is for my sewing machine to advance because it's going to hit the button, break my needle. Oh, of course. You don't want to be going forward We don't all. want to be going forward. We want to be sewing on the spot. Right. So we're going to drop our feed dogs. I'm going to pop my button where I want to place it. And I'm going to center the holes of the button. Can you oh, let me just turn that around? I don't know if you can get that. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, got it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've centered that so the holes are just there. Now what I'm gonna do is choose a zigzag stitch, all right? So stitch number five will do it. Does it have a set stitch you have to use for it? Well, you know, you're saying that, it possibly, I don't think it does. I think you just use a zigzag. Well, we'll soon find out. So this is really important stage. You're going to use the hand wheel mm. and you are going to turn the hand wheel very slowly and gently. Now, that's just about clear in the holes, but I want it just slightly narrower. So I'm going to use my stitch width adjustment and I'm just going to narrow the stitches. Okay, I'm happy with that. Foot down, you ready? Oh, got my lever down from when I did. Lever. That's it. No. That's it. Now I've got four holes. Yeah, so I was I'm going say, to say, does it do two and four? Yeah, I'm going to advance it. And then don't just automatically sew. Check again. That's it. So it's like not a special stitch, it's a special it's a zigzag, foot. zigzag, yeah. Now you would obviously pull those threads through to the back and tie them off. But I just want to show you, look how easy and how professional that looks isn't that cool that's brilliant <laughs> i have a shirt i made three years ago dreading doing the buttonholes and wrecking the shirt i got this machine buttons done in five minutes awesome. from that's what we want. 
Well, yeah, it seems it is silly, isn't it? But you know, when you have particularly I a jacket totally or something, I totally understand why, though. I totally understand why. Well, no, you know, I would do the same. And I'm sewing on a button. Yeah, that's so secure. It really. I remember sewing bee, and I remember second episode, and we'd done. I'd done this beautiful blouse, and it had four buttonholes: one, two, three, four at the neckline. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Totally bodged <laughs> the one at the top. And I get why we worry about doing these things. You need a great machine. Yeah, you do. This is a great machine. <laughs> it's no, it really it. is. But I mean, also, at that price, 359. Message. Good morning. I have a brother machine which is over 30 years old. My go to machine every time, but I'm tempted. Loving the show, Vanessa West Midlands. Yeah. Right, well, the news is, Vanessa, we only have seven of those left. So I would say, if you're very tempted, not only will the price be going back up to 399 after midnight, but also the free um, gifts won't be with it either. So it might be the good time. What would you say, then, if she's had it for 30 years? Well, doesn't that just show you the longevity right, of a good machine, what? first yes, of all? good point. So good choice, first and foremost. But, you know, machines have moved on, like uh, so many machines, they've moved on so much. The technology now makes everything a breeze, which means that everything you sew, everything you make, can look more professional, more slick, and it's also just more fun. It's just more right, fun. Right, only five left. Now, remember with the embroidery machine, we also took 10% off that. So the price that you pay was 599 now 539 plus you get almost 20 pounds worth of um, free fabric and stabilizers that you'll need to use with this. So 539 10% off. Again, the price of this will go back up at midnight if we've got any stocks left. Just so you know. Uh, another message. I've just brought my embroidered machine. <laughs> I just bought my embroidery machine. This will be my third. The others don't have the Disney. I thought I'd buy a USB, but you can only buy it integrated in the machine. Yeah, it's true. It does have the Disney um, motifs. Motifs, I'm trying to think of the word. Integrated in the machine. Yes, it does. Yes. So there we go. Another message. I've just ordered the embroidery machine. What a Yay. bargain for a lovely machine. I can't wait till it arrives. Thank you from Trudy. I know it is an absolute bargain and you can create beautiful, professional looking stitching with it. It is a, a glorious thing. Well done for all of you who've got it. I know, well, but thanks for getting involved. It's, like, it's lovely to have all of your messages and I'm so pleased that we can, well, that we can take money off and that we can bring you an offer. Everything is a bit sort of like, mm, you know, all the prices are going up. So at least we can do one nice thing. One, no, do one, one nice, nice thing. Yeah, every day. What a great rule. One yeah. nice thing. I love that. And I with love your that. one nice thing, make nice things. Make something beautiful. <laughs> Now, I just wanted to show you something which we don't normally, we've never shown this um, before. It's okay. twin, twin needlework. Oh. Okay. So you get a twin needle included. Do you? Really easy, yeah. So anything not included? I know, it's machine. amazing. You get a hard case, you get an extension table. Oh, do you? Yeah, oh, that's it you there. do, oh. right here. I and mean, that. Mm. I've got a £2,000 sewing machine at home that comes with a soft, soft case. Not funny. I mean, you know, <laughs> there's an awful lot thrown at this machine. Ooh, top tip, when you get your your hard case. Don't look inside and think, oh, there's a bit of packing material there, that polystyrene, I'll pull that out. That's part of it. Oh, to protect That's it. That's to protect the top of oh, your machine. Okay. So just leave that in place. Right. But um, just fantastic. And the table as well. That's Extension good, isn't it? The table's amazing. Um, it's got three legs on it, like a milkmaid stool. <laughs> All right. You know, a lot of the mil old milkmaid stool had one, one leg on them. So you couldn't fall asleep. You <laughs> fell asleep. Because it was like four in the morning. Well, I guess so. You know? That's actually <laughs> quite cool. Don't you have to get four o'clock? You have to fall over. Well. Anyway, um, but it's got three legs. Each one of them can be independently lowered or heightened. Because uh, it has to be level. Yeah. And I've got table a farmhouse table that's yeah. pretty uneven, <laughs> which means I can level it up easy peasy. Just an absolute boon. Anyway, look, I've put my twin needle on. You've got an extra spool 
uh, pole, I'm going to call it a pole, that goes on to where you wind your bobbin. Okay, so that's your second mm. reel of thread. So you've got one here, one here. You just follow the normal thread path with both uh, threads. Now this is the, well, there are two times when you can't use your needle threader. And this is the same with every machine. Yes, yeah. Okay. Your needle threader will not thread a twin needle. You have mm. to do it manually, both of them. The other time that you can't use your needle threader is if you're using a needle smaller than an 80. And again, oh, okay. that is true of all needle yeah, threaders. It's yeah. not just the brother. You know, your Beninas won't do it. Mm. You're so you just have to, you know, because yeah, they're no, very fine fair holes. Yeah. All right. So I've got that on. What I'm going to do now, earlier on when you were mentioning all the freebies that you get yeah. with the machine, you quite rightly mentioned the fabrics, the stable, you know, the um, panels and so mm. on. But I mean, we never actually mentioned the fact that you get seven <laughs> extra feet with this machine that are thrown in that are really not included in the price you get a pin tuck foot a yeah. gathering foot bias binding attacher a non-stick foot for sewing leather and pu oh, those are brilliant i love that one roll hem Ooh. and a fully adjustable zip and piping attaching foot i Gosh. mean and there's one more which i don't seem to Is have that, here that one? no that's um, the button that maybe one. it's six I'll have a think. I'll have a okay. think. But Those anyway. Those are some very specialist feet as they well, are. aren't they? That's you, not just yeah. your, your standard ones. And they come standard with this machine. They do. 15 to 20 pounds each. Yeah. Normally. Yeah, normally. Yeah. So I'm just going to attach the um, five groove pin tuck foot. <laughs> Obviously. I know. The five groove pin tuck foot. Five groove pin tuck foot. Yeah. So... Let me pop that under there. Okay, let me just quickly sew down here. Oh, you know what? There we go. Put your feed dogs up. So I'm just going to sew straight across here using that pin tuck foot. And I wonder if you can see it's subtle if you can see yes. this raised Beautiful. texture oh that's lovely it is so smart isn't it that's beautiful so I know. if you were doing a blouse yeah just down the front of it or even um like on sashing on a quilt would be quite nice wouldn't yeah, it yeah exactly right or if that's you did beautiful it's really lovely isn't it or if you did something like a um you know formal shirt yes it's really nice on bags and you could put two different colors in as well couldn't you yeah you really could it's yeah, absolutely find lovely my new pinafore in that velvet fabric look lovely won't it what you can also use this for let I'm, i wonder if i can just very very quickly show you um i haven't got a pencil so i'm just gonna have to eyeball it but what you could do with this is you can use it for quilting okay yeah so what I'm going to suggest here I'm just going to do a very very quick bit of stitching um, does it go through the wadding okay yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. or you could use it actually to sort of oh, decorate so nice. fabric and then make it up into a cushion or something like that so what I'm doing here I'm just mocking up oh, a sort mean. of yeah. cross hatch so I think cross hatched and then made up into a bag would be amazing. Let me just quickly stitch across the other way as well so that you get an idea of where I'm going with this. But this is just one of the feet. These are extras that you're getting included. So what does that foot do then? That just helps to guide it. The pin tuck? Yeah. Yeah, and so then when you're sewing your next row, you line up your previous row of pin tucks into the groove next to right. and then you sew again so that they're all beautifully sort of evenly spaced i'll just do one more quick row um and then i am kind of done with this i'm done with it I'm done I'm done with that yeah there is only one sewing machine remaining one at but this you, price, just one. So you need to, if you if you want it, you need to put it in your basket very quickly and check awesome, out. Well done. But can you see that lovely, lovely texture? Isn't that gorgeous? Just love That's it. That's lovely. Yeah. 
Gosh, how does that? It sort of, kind of raise. The fab. It raises it. Well, do you know? It? Let me just flip it over and show you. Now mm. it's ugly dark grey thread in the back, but I wonder if you can just about see that what it creates is almost like a zigzag yes. on the back, which pulls, pulls the tension it. in very slightly and raises Ooh. it. You can actually feed a piece of very fine cord through at the same time, oh, so that course. actually that cord then gets captured behind along the back. Yeah. So you get a really raised effect. And that's that foot that does it. Well, and the yeah. twin needle, but. Yeah, it's so clever. You can do mm. lots of embroidery designs two <gasps> using the twin needle always test them out i've done it catherine this is my next door neighbor oh, and i've been telling catherine. her first to buy a new machine well done <laughs> catherine i've been telling her and i said get the brother oh we're so proud of you well done <laughs> well done catherine you won't regret it you won't she started sewing again and she's getting really into it and wants to make a quilt it's really awesome and i said don't i said buy the best you can afford if not more Amazing. You know what? The thing I'm really tempted, and I keep, you know, at Festival of Quilts, I was having a look around mm. at embroidery machines because I've kind of got sewing machines covered now. Yes. But I'm really excited by the capabilities of the embroidery. Should we go over yeah. and have a look at Let's do it. Let me I give you a bit of a tour. I haven't used one of these either. Can I give you a bit of a tour? Yes. Sewing machines have now gone. Well done, Catherine. Yeah. Top mention. <laughs> um, Hannah is in talks, but the chances of getting more are low. But <laughs> <laughs> Shall, I'll have another word. Well, could you could you pop up and have another I've word? I've really got no influence at all, <laughs> Bex. You know that. You know that. <laughs> Just wing it. Yeah. So this this machine should be five nine nine, but it's five three nine. Ten percent off. Plus you're getting um, almost twenty pounds um, worth of goodies. But the stabiliser pack is a brilliant thing, isn't I it? I was going to say, you know, the, the, the freebie is so, so it's useful. It's so relevant. It is. Whenever you embroider anything, mm. you're always going to use what's called a stabiliser right. on the reverse side. If you've ever bought an embroidered T-shirt, for example, mm. you might have noticed on the underside there's a kind of white or cream sort of papery stuff. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's been kind of torn away, but maybe there's a little bit left. Mm. That's the stabiliser. It holds the fabric still and stable, stops it stretching around while the embroidery is done. Now, this pack has got 12 different stabilisers in it. So, for example, those stuff that's going to work on stretchy fabric, stuff that's going to work on fine fabrics. There's even a wash away stabiliser in here. OK, if you want some, because you, you've already got the machine, with the, or you're not doing that, that we are selling it separately on its own, eleven ninety nine. Superb. If you're new to uh, machine embroidery, you want to do a little bit of So it's got the wash away and the yeah. tailor, which is great because at that size, you can then have a little go That's without exactly committing right. to a metre. Well, the thing is, often, you know, it's a brand new hobby, isn't it, for a mm. lot of us. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what does this mean? Why do I need different mm. stabilisers? A starter set is a great way just to experiment without having to buy loads of different pieces separately. But anyway, let me talk right. to you about the machine. So this is an embroidery only machine. Okay. So you can't do sewing on this. It doesn't even come with a foot pedal because this is all Just about power. power cord and a, and a start button. This okay. button right here does all the magic. Okay. Right. Um, so you can actually set your machine going. You can be working making a project on your sewing machine while your embroidery machine creates embroidery. Oh, fantastic. What about combining mm. the two? So you have got what's called a hoop. Um, and it's a four by four hoop, a 10 centimeter mm. hoop. So this is your maximum size embroidery. However, if for example, you want to use the monogramming function, this is a gorgeous letter J for John. Wonder who did that. <laughs> Ta tagging himself everywhere he goes. <laughs> yeah, no, he's such a great J painting. for John. Mm. Um, but if you wanted to write the word John or Jonathan, mm. Jonathan, um, you can do that. You just mm. draw a line. Who? Oh, okay, so you just have to have the hoop. Yeah, where you're going to sew it but exactly. you can't move it move it along right. exactly right so not an issue anyway so that's your hoop so you'll put your stabilizer and your fabric in there clicks into this module here under and, uh, and it's got like a darning foot permanently attached okay, okay. so it's like free motion quilting yeah, if you like yes. there are no feed dogs on the machine right. either 
because it can sew in all directions, okay? But it's doing all that work for mm. you. You thread it up in exactly the same way as the Brother FS250. It is a piece of cake to thread up. So, okay, it all follows so the simple. same thing. So if and you it has pictures, which is yeah, really handy, isn't it? absolutely. But this isn't threading an overlocker, okay? <laughs> Just to reassure you, I you know it's a fancy machine and it does something amazing, mm. but it gets threaded up exactly okay. like a normal sewing machine. So you thread up your first colour. Anyway, let me talk about how you do your selection. So you'll, when you turn your machine on, this LCD display, display lights up, and then it is simplicity itself. You can scroll through mm. various different options. So for example, you've got your Disney designs. There are 60 of those. Wow. 60 Disney designs. You cannot buy Disney embroidery designs <gasps> on their own. They, so this is kind of built in. Exactly it's not, um... right. It is built in. You can't, and Gosh. I'm not talking about brother here, any embroidery machine. You cannot buy. Really? Sticks. Single or... figures left on the embroidery machine. And they're all different <laughs> colours. They're all beautiful. They're that... all the proper colours, look. Oh, that's fantastic. So, you just, isn't so you've it? got Mickey and Minnie. You've got Daffy Duck. Now these designs, Disney mm. designs, are only licensed for you to use for yourself, for uh, yeah. home, yeah. for gifts. You can gift, of course, but you can't sell for charity, you can't sell for profit. <gasps> They've got the Disney princesses. With the There's a whole oh. section of Disney princesses. Let me oh, just look. turn these around. You've got Disney princesses, Jasmine, Ariel, so you can have Ariel on your t-shirts. You could, you could. Lines of jasmines yes, everywhere. Yes, you can. And Just there's think. also a gorgeous frame. So if you want to put, you know, Rapunzel in the frame, as it were, oh, you can do wow. it. Yeah. So you can embroider on things like t-shirts, sweatshirts, towels, napkins. What about Christmas stockings? What yeah. about quilts? Mm -hmm bags. I know, God, when you, you start thinking it. about it. So exciting. Then you've got like cars, Toy Story, oh, how Finding wow. Nemo. So many different designs there. And like I say, you can combine That's frames. That's amazing. With so there you 60 Disney, but then you've also got a whole ton of other designs. Now these are unlicensed designs. So things like, look at this beautiful monogramming so you can use this combine this to create words phrases quilt labels you can resize them absolutely gorgeous um, now those you can make and sell so okay. for example if you make Christmas stockings on the run of Christmas yes of course and you want yes, to do, yeah that's true you know you can Personalise, personalise them. them. And as soon as you personalise something, personalise something, mm. like add ten pounds plus. Yeah. Wedding wedding. I guess that's napkins. how they do it then, isn't it? You know, when you see on these sites and they say personalisation, it's because yeah. they've got an embroidery exactly machine. Exactly right. Exactly right. You can even now look. Let you me could, tell you. This yeah, is, so you could personalise it on site if you had a stall somewhere. Exactly, you absolutely could. Now, even more exciting than mm. any of that, do you see down here, you've got a USB, well, it's just about on the side, yeah. USB port. So, brother, free, favourite word, favourite word, free brother embroidery designs. <laughs> Put that into Google, okay, you mm. get thousands of different designs, fonts, frames, pictures, words, you name it, right. that you can download onto a USB, pop that USB in, it's there on your machine. Wow. Stitch it out, enjoy, make sure it fits your hoop. So you've got all of that already in there, and <coughs> then you can get free other ones Correct. as well. I guess because they probably couldn't put it all in. Well, it's allowing you the sort of ultimate freedom, well, isn't it? Well, I guess, it? and also they must bring out new ones all the time, otherwise, all the you, time. otherwise you'd go out of date. Yeah. But you can't go out of date. Right. You can buy designs. So if there's something really special that you want, mm. then you can buy that, of course. Okay. Again. And on a USB, download it onto a USB, download it onto your machine, and away you go. It's very simple to do that. Even I can do that. Okay. <laughs> um, then, you know, here was a question I had. Mm. What happens if I'm stitching out Cinderella? You know, it's a wet afternoon. I needed a little bit of glamour in my life. So I'm stitching out Cinderella. Suddenly, there's a huge clap of thunder. I'm really trying to paint a picture here. There's <laughs> yeah, a huge I'm, clap I'm of there, thunder. All the lights go out. Mm. There's a power cut. Okay, the machine goes black. Yeah. It stops. What do we, it, 
what happens when it comes back on again? Do I have to start all over again? Do I have to start and picking? Mm. Your machine will literally know exactly where it stopped. When you wow. switch it back on, you can just click continue and it will continue to sew the design. Which is like if someone locks the front door. Right. You know, yeah, a postman, exactly. and you turn it off, or someone turns. You it round off. it a friends. So you've taken mm. your brother embroidery machine round. You're having a sewing afternoon. It's time to go home. You haven't quite finished your design. You don't want to miss the bus. You just mm. take it with you when you get home. And it knows. It back in. Or like me, my dog chewed all the way through the lead. <gasps> could happen. Could happen. I know. It could happen. Mine's got a thick tape all around it now. I bet it has. Mm. Yeah, and a fire guard all around <laughs> you. <laughs> Pets do love to help craft, don't they? They really yes, do. There's only seven embroidery machines left. Only seven. One more announcement. It's a lot of announcements today, Hannah. Lots of announcements. Hayley has has she found some? Hayley has found five more. Is that the normal ones? With the bundle. So the the sewing machine. Five. So we had sold out. We've got five more. Awesome. Five more, but obviously that isn't the price you'll be paying. It is three fifty-nine. So if you missed out ten minutes ago, we have got five. Just awesome. five. So I mean, it's the not one... a great deal, but it's great for five people. Well it is, it is. Not the lots and lots that have got them in their basket. I know. But I five know. lucky people will save that. Yeah, yeah, four it is now. just those four. Okay, four. Right. Yes. Now, one thing about the sewing okay. machine, you will need to buy, if you want it, a uh, quilting foot, dining foot. Right, okay. Open to a dining foot. It's £17 ish. Is it? That's yeah. Cheap. I've got one down here. Let have me you just got one? grab it. I, I have. Oh, well, I, I would definitely get that. Well, I would too. I had one. Oh, there it is. So that's for the sewing machine. That's yeah, the dining foot. Yeah, and it's a brother the, branded. Um, Free quilting foot. Yeah, you know? for doing free motion quilting, mm. uh, free motion embroidery, that kind of thing, thread painting. You want your darning foot, your hopping foot, 1749. That works on your sewing machine. Yeah, yeah, not the embroidery machine, but this is for the sewing machine. So if you've been lucky enough to get one, we have got four left, get, a, get one of those. Yeah, mm. so fantastic, isn't it? But like I say, one of the things I want to explore mm. now is embroidery. And one of the things you can do with an embroidery machine is you can quilt with it. Um, so you can hoop mm. sections of your quilt. Right. Right. Make sure, of course, that your quilt is on the table to support the weight. Yeah, OK. But then you could pick out, you, and you can actually, there are lots and lots of quilting designs mm. for embroidery machines so things like what we might like quilt traditionally like little feather wreaths yes, and yeah. little crosses and hearts and things like that if you search for brother quilting mm. embroidery stitches absolutely fab because particularly if you're doing just like the center of something like the center of a dresden plate That's where you right. just want something very specific something really special another thing mm. i just wanted to show you as well i mentioned wash away stabilizer earlier on only now, six left. Six embroidery machines left. There are there are a few designs in here. Now I wonder if you can just see this here. There are some stars. Now these are ones that are included. These are on your embroidery machine, oh, but of course nice. you can buy more. So they're these gorgeous kind of lacy um, stars. So what you do, no fabric this time, just your wash away stabiliser in your hoop. Mm. Embroider that design, then get a bowl of water, <laughs> dunk, all the stabiliser disappears, you're left with the star, and when uh, it dries, okay. you can add a little hanging loop, wow. Christmas tree decorations. Fantastic. You can also, they're all kind of lace designs. And you, that you could can hang buy. them off presents, couldn't you? Beautiful. Little yeah. tags. Thing, but you can you also know. get ones that you can stitch onto clothing. So bridal or christening, yeah, okay. or add them to bags, you know, Fantastic. some really beautiful ideas. Can you use metallic thread in it? Yeah, you can use metallics, you can use variegated embroidery mm. threads. I mean, always go for great quality threads yeah. for your machine. Yeah. And then in your bobbin, you're going to use a specific embroidery bobbin thread. Oh, okay. It's fine. And some comes with the machine yeah, you get already some with your machine. as a starter. And uh, it's really fine. 
So one bobbin seems to go on forever. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not quite forever, but it but, does feel but like But nearly it. forever. Is, yeah. that, is that in the little thing? What's here. in there? I don't know. What is in the little thing? What is in there? Yes, oh, look, you've got some pre-wound. That's what's in the little thing. Yeah, you've got some pre-wound bobbins. I think you get several, yeah. And um, it's really, really fine thread. And you don't have to change that. It's called bobbin fill. You don't have to oh, change okay. it depending on the colour. Right. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really useful. So yeah. you just buy some bobbin fill later when you've got through all three. Exactly right. Yeah. Oh. I use something called Deco uh, Bob. Deco Bob. Deco Bob. Yeah. <laughs> and that, well, I use that in my long arm, but you can use it in sewing machines, mm. embroidery machines. It's really fine. And it really does feel like it goes on forever. It's okay. Fab. Yeah. And that's what comes with that. And needles. Yeah. 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 You get needles and it's very, very simple, actually. Um, if you can sew even with a basic sewing machine, you'll find an embroidery machine oh, okay. very okay. easy to use in, the, in its most basic yes. form. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen some real artistry with embroidery machines. I had a lady once come to a piecing and applique class that I was mm. teaching, kind of pinwheels and butterflies, applique butterflies on a wall hanging. She then took it away and she said to me during the class, you know, I'm not much of a piecer. I mean, her work was beautiful. <laughs> but she said to me, I'm not much of a piecer mm. and applique. I really enjoy mm. machine embroidery. And a few months later, she brought the quilt to show me and she had hooped different sections and she had machine embroidered slash quilted mm. the whole thing. Wow. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's quite a simple design. It elevated it to something that could win a wow. festival of quilts. And it was her embroidery machine, but it was also combined with her expertise. And yeah, so this equips you it really does your imagination and your ability to go even further really can mm. take you yeah. sort of to the stars absolutely nice. great fun to play with too fab well thank you so much to thank oh. you for persuading um Hayley to give us this special <laughs> yeah my as well. pleasure <laughs> well done you <laughs> so the embroidery machine how many have we got left four we only have four left 10 percent off is 539 pounds Remember, you can split pay this if you want. 179.66, three equal payments. That is interest free. The machine will be sent to you straight away. The other two payments will be taken out in the next two monthly interviews. But interviews, intervals. You will get it straight away. Now, there's only f an op only five of these are left now at that price because what will happen? Because it should be 5.99, 10 percent off. Well, it is until stocks last or midnight tonight. And then that's it. It's our special offer for today, based on the sort of the feedback that we've had from Festival Quilts and, and Stuart's bit of arm bending, I think. <laughs> because it's great. He loves Brother Machine, so why not? Why not give you a bit of a discount so that you can, you know, really, it's just that little bit to get your stitching journey going. Because um, we've never done this before. Have we got any sewing machines left? Three. The right so there are over we've got three left and there are 40 people who have them in baskets over 40 over 40 we only have three left so if those 40 people if you need you three of you need to check out really fast it should be 399 for the sewing machine but it's 359 that's a 10 percent saving you are also getting um, 49 pounds worth of freebie so that's two fabric panels only two left now two left you're getting two fabric panels two meters of fabric and a bag of soft toy filling hmm. <coughs> right oh we've got to do the dog question <coughs> dog question so uh, we've been doing a dog quiz all day to celebrate International Dogs Day. Um, we had a question at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and we've got a question now. There will be one more question. Answer the question, write it down, and then when we do the next question in the next half an hour or so, we, you then send all your answers in, and we will choose a winner at random. And we will, and we will answer it before the end of the show, and the winning person will get £25 credit. Hello. 11 o'clock's question is, would you like to read oh, it out to it? So I'm still extremely here. loyal to my cheese-loving master. Being highly intelligent, many would say I'm the brains of the duo, often having to save the day. Oh. Yeah, is that 
Is that me and you? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I dread to think which way round yeah, it I do. Would I'm not sure. Who do I want to be? <laughs> Who's the brains dressed in this outfit? <laughs> Don't know. Mmm, mm. cheese loving. Cheese. Yeah, so. Write that one down, and then um, when we move into the next hour, I'll ask the next question. You then can email them all into us at studio at Sloan Street Tom, and we will choose a winner by random. Hey, and um, I will let you know before the end of the show, and you can have twenty-five pounds. Anyway, thank you for joining me and Stuart. Thank you, Stuart. Oh, it's been a pleasure. I've had such Are a lovely back morning. I am back and presenting tomorrow. I thought you might be. And Sunday. And Sunday. Yeah. Nice. So that's going to be a fun weekend. It will, won't it? Well, yeah. thank you for joining me. So, um, next on air is I'm going to be showing you the cave interview that I did with him at the Festival of Quilts. And we have got all his quilt kits and his book as well. So, if you want to see what I asked him, um, don't go anywhere. I'll see you back in a few minutes' time. Now, I've got a bit of news for you. This Friday, Rebecca Reed's on the show, right? She's been to the Festival of Quilts and she's interviewed. It's an exclusive interview. She has interviewed Kay Fassett, right? All about his new book, Quilts in Wales. It's fantastic. And there's all sorts going on about the quilts in here and lots of other things. Make sure you tune in on Friday. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back to Sewing Street. I've just been, look, I've just been um, just shuffling over. Like I'm right in the middle. I feel like I'm framed by this beautiful quilt. So, Cave, Cave, brand new, 24th book in the series, Cave Quilts in Wales. Very excited about this. And I said, when are we going to show this? So I had to, when I went to the Festival of Quilts, they asked me if I'd interview Cave. So I read the whole book. I learned all about the quilts. I wrote some random questions as well. And today we are going to show the interview that I did and it was really lovely to meet him. I mean, he is an absolute genius and, you know, he's just a colour, colour genius. He knows everything about colour and design. It's so wonderful. Now, this is his 24th book, Quilts in Wales. It is a beautiful book. What I can't get over, it's 24 99 and you get all of these quilts in here. They're, they're designed by Cave. It's full of imagery, words, inspiration, the of them before we even get to the instructions so you are getting quilt all of these quilt instructions for 24.99 that is amazing amazing value for money um i'm going to go and have a look through it in a minute but we've just got to do the last dog question because we've been doing the dog quiz all day um because we need to give you some time to send your answers in so we have been running a competition all morning. We've had four questions now, one, eight, nine, 10, 11. Um, asked you to write down the answers to the questions. I'm about to read you the final answer. When you get the final question, even, I'm about to ask you the final question. I'm not going to tell you the answer. And um, then you just have to email www.sewingstreet.com. 
send all of your answers and then a winner will be chosen at random and then we're going to show the cave interview and after that we'll choose a winner and we'll announce who's won and the person who wins gets 25 pound credit on their sewing street account so final question are we ready i'm the pet of a kansas farm girl who is blown somewhere over the rainbow who am i i'm the pet of a kansas farm girl who is blown somewhere over the rainbow right please could you email your five answers to studio at sewingstreet.com then we will choose a winner at random before the end of the show we i will announce it and then the winner will win 25 pound credit on their sewing street account which is fab isn't it which is basically almost like you could have a free book couldn't you do whatever you like with it but you could have a free book fantastic um so the oh the mess the email in case anyone's forgotten is studio at sewingstreet.com Five, we need all five answers. You do have to put all five answers in, not just the last, uh, last answer. And then we will um, announce the winner. Well, I will announce the winner before the end of the show. Anyway, so in this hour, I'm going to, we're, we're going to show part, not the whole of the cave interview. I think they said they'd put it on YouTube at some point, but some of it. Um, and then I'm going to, so, and then I'm going to talk about the book and then we have got, which is fab quilt kits. Now this, I asked them, can we hang this one up? This is my favorite. Some of the, eight of the quilts from the book, we managed to kit completely with instructions and everything and all the, and all the same fabric. This one is called Lavender and Sage and this was my favorite one. I absolutely love this. And in order to create this effect, obviously the design is in the book, but to create this, you need the kit. Now the kit, is 169.99 it is beautiful and we do have some left in stock i said please i hope we've got some left we will be going through those but we'll go through the book first so let me show you let me show you the book it's gorgeous i mean it's just inspirational isn't it so what happened was well it, i don't know which bit of the interview they'll show you is kate and brandon they visit various places they found this castle in wales they absolutely love this paris castle they loved the grounds they love the gardens and based on that they designed all these quilts but it's like a coffee table book isn't it absolutely beautiful Kaif has written he's written everything in here based on what his inspiration is what he likes about it and then every quilt has been photographed either in the castle or the grounds and some of the things i mean look at the matching of this fabric with this filigree some of the things were a surprise some of them they designed based on it but he just fit so beautifully so you've got all of these designs i mean they're just beautiful aren't they that's the light i love the vintage library one this one's great saturated red on this gorgeous um bed i did say to kate we were allowed to sleep in there but he wasn't i think this is amazing so he has designed this quilt based on this um wood here now the great thing about these quilts is they're all fairly simple because Cave's philosophy behind this is that the fabric has got all the colours and the depths and the patterns and the prints. He, with his quilts, wants, them, wants to make them speak for themselves. So if you're new to quilting and patchwork and you think, I would love to make one of these, they are actually, when you look at them, really, really quite simple. Um, this is the one he suggested for a beginner. I asked him that one. Um, and this I love, this is cold frames. Look at it on this door where he's photographed. So you've got all of these little blobs, which are his oranges, and they just match absolutely beautifully. So these are all the um, quilts in situ. I think 24 99 for this, even just as a coffee table book would be great. I was gonna ask him about that, I forgot, because he actually looks like Brandon's naked in that picture. And that was one of my questions. They say, was he actually, he look, was he actually, I wish I had remembered that one. I don't know whether he'd have liked that, but he does look, look at that. And this, all this um, topiary in the gardens is amazing. There's the lavender and sage. Doesn't it look amazing against that um, red brick garden wall? Imagine that on your bed. Or oh, actually, I mean, I'd like to have that hanging up. It'd look fantastic, like hanging up in your, in your hallway or something, wouldn't it? And then you get on to the instructions. So here we start with toast and marmalade. So you've got a picture of it. 
the instructions are really good because it tells you all the fabrics you need and there's pictures of them. The fabrics are all from his recent collections. The majority are from his, well, his most recent hasn't come out yet. It's coming out in a couple of weeks, the one before that. And then he has a standard set of fabrics that he does all the time. And then it's very much, it's all cutting, then it's subcutting, and then it's making. But really, you know, for that quilt, that's your instructions. It's not that complicated. This one, Vintage Library, Cave was inspired because he loves the um, libraries that are in books, and he was um, inspired to create the strip, so it looked like a library of fabric almost. Again, it's not massively complicated. You get a quilt assembly diagram with all of them. It's been written in that way. I adore this one, Cold Frames. Um, we've sold out of that one now. Sadly, sadly. Um, hot, cold and hot we sold out of. But we only, do, we only were able to do um, eight, of the, eight of the designs of kits. However, you know, if you get the book, there it is. It's all there, isn't it? Everything you need is in there. So if you want to get the book, you've got it all. All of the um, details or the fabrics that you need. And obviously, there's a lot of people who buy this that don't want to use the cave fabric, just love the designs, love the patterns, but you could use, maybe maybe you could buy a little bit of cave fabric and then you could use fabric for your own stash. But everything is explained. I really like this one. I mean, that's a lovely, you just basically, you're making a block and then that same block is then put there. So when you look at something like this, this is a brilliant stash builder, isn't it? Because you look at that design and there are so many different prints in there. Lovely to make it in the cave, but you don't have to. He has used so many different fabrics in there. You could just go through your stash and say, right, 90, I'm gonna choose 19 fabrics from my stash and I'm gonna make that. And you can even use that as some inspiration for color, but you know, he's got, um, black and white flowers, black and white geometric, pink, I mean it's floral, it's, it is a, a good way of using up the fabric you've already got. That's gorgeous, I love topiary, I think it's quite nice if you're going to do this yourself to use that horizontal stripe because that gives the lines of the topiary. Beautiful. Um, golden squares is really pretty. Okay, sassy baby. But look, look at all this, so many. I mean, I just can't get over the price of this for the number of designs you get in it. And they really not, I mean, they just are beautiful. They just are lovely. And it's the sort of thing that maybe, you know, when you go, you're um, on air and you see there's a fat quarter bundle, you think, well, I'll buy that. What am I gonna do with it? This is your inspiration. And if there's maybe one fabric in this, you think, well, I really need to use that one. You can always purchase that one and then go to your stash for the rest of them. You don't have to use all of those fabrics. I mean, this one uses beautiful, large floral fabrics, but you might already have something similar to that. Or you've got blocks that you want to put in there. Then use the designs. So there is a lot here that could keep, keep you going for ages, your whole quilting journey. And as I said, they're not massively difficult quilts. So if you want something that's, that makes the fabric sing, this is probably the best book for you. I love this one. But again, you know, what a lovely way to frame pieces of fabric that you like. So maybe you've bought a layer cake that all features beautiful prints, or you've even got blocks. Maybe you've got the bird of the month blocks. Use that to give you an idea of what to do with it. Bubbly. Now, bubbly is lavender and sage in red and pink. And there's the lavender and sage. So, you know, the design is in the book, but we also have a kit of it as well. Hmm? Sunflower checkerboard. Right, so we do have, how many, I don't, okay, I'm just gonna run, before we show the video, I'm just gonna show you the quilt kits that we do have in stock with pictures. And then I'll go through the, after I've shown you the interview, I'll go through the kits so you can see what you actually get in them. Uh, now, if you are buying the kits, you don't need to buy the book. The kits have all of the instructions. I mean, you might wanna buy the book anyway if you bought the kit because it is gorgeous. Um, but in the box is the instructions and all the fabric for the top and the binding. All you'll need to buy is the backing and the wadding, which I will go through afterwards. So the first one, 
lavender and sage. Right, lavender and sage, gorgeous. Absolutely love that one. Oh, everything, everything, except for the back in the wadding, everything, including the instructions, and you can have this quilt. How tempted am I? Very. Next one is checkerboard. Uh, checkerboard, 199.99. That is a big quilt. I mean, obviously, 218 by two, that's a very big quilt. I will be going through it all in detail um, after the interview, so I'll show you what's in the box and what there is. Oh, are we? Oh, Hannah's going to reduce that one. Oh, she's on one today. 179.99 for the checkerboard. And also, I've got samples of all those quilts here. So I, I, when we go through them, I will show you the pictures. I just want to give you, so that while you're watching the interview, um, I want, also, I want you, while you're watching the interview, then you can decide which one you want. And there's several of you waiting with them in your baskets. If you have already checked out, don't worry, you will pay that lower price. What else have we got? Topiary, that was the one with the lovely stripes. I love the topiary one because you've got the topiary and then inside it you've got all the big florals. And that one, um, Cave designed based on the castle because there is a lot of topiary there. Hundred, and remember split pay, it's all on there. If you want to um, break it down into three equal payments, interest free, then please do. 179.99. Well done if you've checked out. Um, bubbly, now bubbly is the pink and blue, the pink and red version of lavender and sage. Gorgeous, so absolutely the same as that. But the most important thing about these two kits is the fabric. It's the fabric choice with these is crucial. As Cave said to me, one color must blend to the other and he's chosen, he is the king of color. He chose the colors for them. That is really good split pay. Yeah, 56, 56, 66. Yeah, divided by three. That's a great split pay, isn't it? And it's interest free as well. But it, but because he is, his colour selection and choice is so genius. I think the lavender and sage of the bubbly are the ones that work that you kind of want his advice for because he's taking you through. What he says is that you don't want a gradual change or you don't see it, but you don't want a massive change. Otherwise, it doesn't work. So you need to have it, and you also need to have the odd inner border. So, and then. We also have Vintage Library. This is beautiful. This is based on his love of books and he wanted to create a quilt that was um, a fabric version of a library. And I said to him, why did you choose that fabric in the center? He said, it just worked. It just worked. I know, and I wouldn't, and it was, yeah, I, you'd think, well, how, I'm not sure I'd choose that, but it just works. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely, lovely quilt. Um, all the sizes are listed there so you can see to make sure if you're doing it for a bed, does it fit? Saturated red, that was the be beautiful one. Now that is quite a simple quilt as well. It's totally stunning, 160 by 160, um, but not too difficult. And again, you know, you're getting your own piece of cave art. If we're thinking coming up to Christmas, and you've always wanted to make a quilt for someone, or you've got people staying, you want to impress them with your spare room bed, now's the time to start. I will be going through those boxes and the quilts in detail, um, so you can see what you get. And, and if so, while I'm showing the interview, if you've got any questions, you want to know anything specific, do message in the studio. Oh, and don't forget to enter the quiz. We'll be mentioned, uh, talking about the winner later on. Anyway, here's the interview that I did. Um, part of the interview I did at the Festival of Quilts about the book. So, Quilts in Wales. Now, um, now you've written lots of books from Lavenham to Burano. Why Wales? Why did you choose Wales? Because I look for locations. You know, you go to these websites called Lavish Locations and all these different places. And I'm just looking for a place that had a lot of variety and richness and interest. And I came across this little castle in Wales mm. and it was just a little jewel it was full of incredible murals and tapestries and wonderful you know floors of big tiles and stuff so I just I thought this is where we want to go because okay. we're going to get a lot of different moods 
So did you think, right, Wales and let me find a castle? Or did the castle no, come before I, the I Wales? No, I wasn't thinking Wales, but what, 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 when we got there in this little intimate castle, which was just so full of gorgeousness, and then outside the gardens were just yeah. to die, all going down a hill with these fabulous big hedges. I thought, this is... This one, it's got the drama that I love. It had the right feel. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, so and why Powys Castle from all the hundreds of castles in Wales? Because of the intimacy of it. Right. Okay. Because when I looked at these places with huge, long hallways, you know, where, yeah. you know, our quilts would look like a postage stamp. <laughs> True, because you know. some of them are quite big. Yeah, castles. yeah, in these great cavernous places. And what I loved about Powys was that it was like a little jewel box, you know, okay. it was a little kind of puppet theater for me, you know, it just, right. it had that kind of lovely intimate scale. Okay, okay. Um, when you went to the castle, did you get unlimited access? Well, at, fir you go at to first they were places? very nervous, you know, right. the National Trust and they were like, <gasps> everything is precious, you know, you don't touch this and don't touch that and, you know, we don't, how much light can we have and everything, you know, so it was like very nervous making. And after a while, they realize we're not going to throw all the furniture out the window. <laughs> you know, they realize, oh, we're going to be respectful. And so they relaxed and we relaxed and we had a lovely shoot. They were very cooperative. And well, you very mentioned helpful. them in the book, the two yeah. ladies who helped you. Yeah, they were absolutely lovely. Yeah. So did you get access to areas that the public couldn't go to? Probably. You know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think they, you know, whatever we wanted, they let so us. So did you get to stay there? No. No. No, we didn't go that far. Because <laughs> I was going to say, which bedroom would we, you have picked? You know, we, we, had, we, had, we had some lovely lunches. No, actually, the bedrooms were sort of off. Uh, really? You know, yeah, we couldn't go. We, we, we went into some of them and did this. So your saturated red quilt, you took in a bedroom, so I thought maybe that was the one you'd have slept in. I wanted that to be on the cover. Didn't you think that was great? Yes, yes. A great velvet, you know, thing with gold leaf, yeah. you know. It's opera. Velvet pajamas. Yes. You in the bed. Or silk ones silk or something. Pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. That would have been really yeah. good. Um, now, the way that you do it, do you visit the castle and then design the quilts based on the castle? Or do you design the quilts and then hope they fit into the castle? This is always the question. <laughs> um, I, I, I would say that Brandon and I go and find a location and then we talk about it and we take a lot of little pics around and then we come home and if anybody else is making quilts with us we show them the pictures and we said this is the mood of our next book so we do think about that about the location ahead of time right so the location does come before the yeah. quilts yeah yeah because right. I wondered whether you took the quilts and went right where are we going to put them yeah no it's it's it's, it's kind of both you know but oh, I always try to make a variety of quilts. I want dark quilts, like, okay. like the one behind yes. us, you know. And I want very, very light quilts, and I want gray quilts, and I want, you know, a whole wonderful range. So it will appeal to lots of different people. And so then we try to find a location that has all of those moods. Oh, I see. So that is part of the cho choosing part, Absolutely. Then, that it has to have a yeah. variety of... Yeah, like when we picked that fishing village in Italy for one yes. of our books. Yeah. It had, you know, all these different colors and we could just pick a background for oh, each okay. quilt. So you probably know now what's going to work and what's not going to work. Yeah. Like Lavenham that had exactly. a lot of choice. Oh, OK. Exactly. I just wondered like, which way round it Lavenham happened. was one of the most lovely shoots, quilts in an English village. I mean, it was just though that's so beautifully preserved, that town. It's an amazing and place, And those isn't wonderful it? colors on the buildings. Oh, that was really lovely. Um, so when you're designing the quilts, yeah. How many get abandoned? How many go all the way through? And how many Almost get abandoned? Almost everything goes all the way through, but some things are false starts. You know, I, 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 I'm starting with an idea and I'm just, I'm not going to get anywhere. But that's very rare. Oh, okay. Almost everything is, you know, because we take the collection of fabrics that is that season. Right. And so within that, you start to think, all right, well, these colors go together. This is going to be exciting. Let's put in a little bit of spice, you know, shake it up a bit. Let's do this, let's do that. And it, it works. It's almost never do I uh, throw away in it. Okay, it's, but you might use it for something else later. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that, that happens. Where we do a quilt is just not good for this collection. Okay. It's not going to work. Um, so we put it. So when you do, when you design the quilts, do you use for these, do you use like your, all of your latest collection or do you mix and match it and pick out some from other collections? Well, I have a company that is very, very patient and they let me have classics, which means things that stay in for years yeah, and years. Yeah. And so that is one of, we have a base of great fabrics to play with, to begin with. And then the new ones come Which in. Which one would you say you use the most? What's your favorite or your most used print? Well, depends on what you're talking about, but uh, on the back of many of these quilts is a, is a pattern called Millie Fury. Yeah, I know the one. And it's big scroll. paperweights, you know that. Mm -hmm. You circles of, yeah, circles of the paperweights. Book. And that gets used a lot. Okay. <laughs> because, because it has lots of different colorways and so forth. So probably yeah. your favorite then. Yeah, well, I don't have a favorite. They're my children. Yeah. You know, you know, a mother's have, not supposed to no, say. No, I don't have a favorite one. It's just the dog. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, I really like the writing in the book. Yeah. There's not lots of writing, but I Good. really like it. And I, Good. I can tell it's written by you because it's got your voice in it. It's very, um, it's very descriptive, and I can hear your voice yeah. in it. Yeah. Do you do that all on your own? Does it get edited? Yeah, I, I try do to do it up? at the shoot. So okay. just after we've taken our quilts all around and placed them and we can see exactly what this beast is that we're giving birth to. Then I say, all right, I want to write about this because the people were helpful and the place was great and I, it's all fresh in my mind. So I try to sit down right there that, that okay. the, the afternoon that we finish, I just sit down and try to write something, say on the train on the way home or something, you know, you just get it, get it Do you down. enjoy that part of the book? Yes, I love it. I mean, it's the same thing as going around and photographing our things against beautiful backgrounds. It helps people to understand. And this is like another background. You're saying, well, we've done this and we're presenting this piece of theater to mm. you. And here's why. This is why we chose this location. And this is why we're excited by it. I think it's really important because I said when I read it, I could hear your voice in it. There were certain... Um, phrases and sayings that you have that you could feel in it, but it does bring it to life. Yeah, I think it's all very, you know, it's like very often in, in, in a publishing house, they'll say, okay, well, when we finish the book, now we're done. Mm. No, you're half <laughs> done. The next half is promoting that book, mm. explaining to people why they should spend their hard earned money for it, why they should have this in their collection. And so we have to go out and talk to the world about yes, that. Yes, yes, true. And so that's a very important part. And that's exactly what I feel about, you know, writing about the book or photographing it, the quilts once we've made them in a location that expands the color of it. Mm. It, it makes people understand it better. Um, and how was it working with Debbie on the photography again? Just, <laughs> we're like, Siamese twins, you know. Yeah. I mean, we we are so coordinated. We're, we, I mean, we just we're so quick. We know we know each other's minds, you know. I just love working with her. Um, I picked her because I saw a wonderful photograph, and her. I was looking at lots of different photographers, and they all had sort of an agenda. They were, you know, political, or they were doing different things. And Debbie just showed this picture that was just such lovely color. It was sensitive to color. And I thought, this is my girl. Well, you used her on the English, the, the Lavenham book. Yeah. So yeah. When, you, when you're doing it, um, did you decide where to photograph it? Did she decide? Oh, no, I decided. Okay. Yeah. Did she I'm, say that's I, not I, gonna I, work? I'm very, and I, and I walk around and I find exactly the same. Every now and then I run out of ideas or I, we try something and it's just not working, right. you know? I had this great idea and we can't get the quilt to look right and so forth. And then she will say, well, you know, I noticed around the corner okay. there was a little, you know. So she tends to, her input comes in when she, when it's not yeah, working. If I, if I completely run out of steam, which is not very often. Um, and what didn't work that you were surprised about? I mean, there was a few in the book actually that were less than fabulous. Let's just put it that way. Okay. You know, uh, it, it was okay. We could, and which one worked best? I, I, I think 
the my best was uh, a, a quilt that you're sitting in front of, you know, which is this oh, big quilt. When that was against one. those dark hedges. Yes, it was against the big U. Oh my Amazing. God, that was so beautiful. That was so theatrical. I know, it was good. <laughs> so the drama of that sitting it's there amazing, with these huge it? tidal waves. I want to know how they clip those hedges. <gasps> I, I saw the guy. Ladders. I saw the guy doing it when we first <laughs> arrived. You know, this one little man just goes up there and he clips all those things, and he has this scaffolding that he uses well, he and everything. Do. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, and that I mean, was that one of the best really things clever. about the castle, in a way. You know, was those really extraordinary, surreal hedges. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah. So before I go on to the quilt, so the next book, have you started it? Are we allowed to know what it is? Is it a secret? Well, you must have started it. Yeah, I have started it. I have started <laughs> Number it. Number 25. And, and I've got a, a car full of quilts that are <laughs> just about to go off and be photographed there. Um, yeah, it's, we're, we're going to, uh, we've got a nice location. Okay. It'll be a nice it's surprise. Number 20, it should be special. Yeah, yeah, so it is. The wedding one. Well, now there, 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 now you've mentioned something. We are, it's 25 years mm -hmm. of doing these books. It's the 25th book. Yeah. And so we went back over all the 25 books that we've done and we picked a quilt that we wanted to redo in fresh colors. And so Whoa. it's like a collection. One from each book. One from each yeah. book. Yeah. Oh, and that was really fun. Great. You know, to, which quilt got totally ignored in book number 16. Right. And so we pulled that out and did a new version. So it's not necessarily your favorite quilt from each book. It's the one that you felt it, yeah, had the one more I legs. felt that I would, I, I feel like doing at this point in my life. And so when is that one out? I'm looking forward to it. That was all that next autumn. Next autumn. Yeah, ne next time. You know, yes. at this at this festival. Number twenty five. Well, it's yeah. going to be a special one, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, it's going to be really <laughs> special. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. How lucky was I? What a great opportunity that I had like 40 minutes with Cave to ask him whatever I wanted. At the end of it, I did 20 questions as well. I don't know whether we're going to show that bit. I'm not sure. Um, might, that might have to, I think they might put that on YouTube, but that was the best. But what a lovely opportunity. What a lovely man. Um, now, this book, you know, when I was um, preparing to do the interview, I read the book and I went through it. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when you think you've got 20 quilt designs for $24.99. £1.25 per set of instructions. When would you ever be able to get a set of quilt instructions, Cave, you know, w without buying his books? And I think it's amazing. Now, we have got, I mean, we, we like to give you the choice. We have got kits. When I was going through the book earlier, I said to you, you know, these quilts are reasonably easy to make, but they're also great stash builders. So there are areas in here where you think, well, I love, I'm going to be inspired. So when I was um, interviewing, I was, he was sat in front of checkerboard of checkerboards because it's on the cover. So say you were going to make this one and you think, well, actually, I like the stripes in it. So for some people, the book will be great. They'll want to use their stash. They love the ideas. They'll get inspired by the colour, shades and tones. For other people like me, um, they'll want the whole thing. They want the whole thing. So the one that's on the front cover, and it was the one that Cave was sitting in front of while I was interviewing, is called Checkerboard of Checkerboards. So let me show you the quilt. Now, I've just talked about Hannah about how I can have one of these, and we've we kind of worked out that I can't. So these are the actual quilts that were made for the book. These were the ones when we when the Festival of Quilts was over, we um, borrowed them. So this is the there isn't not more than one and they let us borrow them. So unfortunately, I think I am gonna have to make my own. Now, this quilt, I'm trying, because I can't hang it up, because I can't hang it up too. It should be 199.99. I mean, it is absolutely stunning. So this fabric, you see the stripe fabric that is kind of the main feature of it because the stripes go, um, you've got them going this way. This is actually a woven fabric and not a printed fabric. The cave is very inspired by woven fabrics like the African tribal fabrics. So this is beautiful because it's woven. It's the same color on both sides. And also when you look at it, the woven fabric has a slightly different feel and texture. It's like you think of the difference of between gingham and tweed to printed cotton. So you've got a beautiful texture in this. And then interspersed amongst these textures, you've got 
got the iconic cave prints. Now, unusually for cave, I did say this to him, it's all blues and greens and purples. There isn't a hint of pink in it, but it really works. You've also got one of my favourite fabrics featured in it. You've got the beautiful oranges. So his oranges he does in all different colours, but this is black with the pink oranges. But isn't this um, stripe here gorgeous? Now, if we look at the kit, so this is where if if you want to recreate this so in that you get a box so if you think about buying it for a gift for somebody it's a really nice boxed kit um, and then in the box you've got so you don't have to buy the book at all you've got the instructions you've got full color photo and then you've got um, all the requirements look there are 22 different fabrics in here and with pictures which really help so it shows you exactly what you need where all the cutting how you create it and how you make the whole thing and there is the whole kit 22 different fabrics oh yeah so that's um that's a picture of me sitting in front of it and then the topiary one is behind me. So let me just show you out of here because I wanted to show you these gorgeous, um, the stripe fabrics. Just this one because um, everything else is printed, but these stripe fabrics are actually woven. But can you see, this is how lovely it is, that it's the same on both sides because it's woven. So it gives that um, combination of the print fabric with the stripe fabric is gorgeous. Anyway, if you want to make the whole quilt exactly an exact replica of this one then get the kit I mean obviously you don't get backing and wadding but that's fine if you just look at the finished quilt size this one is 218 by 218 and then you just add um, eight inches all round that's what you'll need for backing and wadding absolutely gorgeous so that should be 199.99 but it's 20 pounds off 179.99 that means you can do three split payments 59.99 and um, you get it sent straight away 0% interest right now the topiary kit that was hanging behind me when I was doing the interview and we um, we spoke about it in the video because it's he designed this based on the castle really because the the the, car, the one thing that he loved about the castle grounds was the topiary. He was entranced by that. And then what he did, because obviously his fabrics are always big, 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 big florals, aren't they? They're always um, florals. So he's created, using his camphor fabric, this is African fabric, um, he's put the topiary in using the striped fabric and then the flower, the beds, the topiary beds are all of these beautiful florals. And look at this one. This one, they have some, it has been quilted around the edge of the leaves. So you get that real movement and texture. It's almost got like a stained glass window effect to it with this. But if you try to, trying to recreate this at home would be really, really difficult because of some, sometimes you can, but I think with this one, the stripe is crucial, and particularly because it's this woven fabric. So here's the kit. Everything is in the kit that you need. You've got the full instructions. You've got the fabric. You know, and importantly, you've got this feature fabric. This fabric that's... Um, let me move it over. It's really heavy, though. Um, this feature fabric in here, that's in the kit. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, and to be honest, it's these large feature florals that we sell out of first. But what a stunning, stunning quilt. I mean, it is, it is, I'm going to hide behind it. No, I'm just picking up that bit. See, because he's just beautiful, isn't it? It's gorgeous. I'll hang, oh yes, it is hang up, it is hanging up behind me in the, in the next video. So I'm just going to show you the next um, part of the, section of the interview it went on for about 40 minutes this is a small section just about the quilts and then i'll be back with you to show you um the other quilt kits that we have left in stock um okay i just want to ask you now about the quilts in more detail because that's really important um so 
Uh, just to ask you about what they represent and any technical details that people would want to know. So with lavender and sage, I'm starting yeah. with that because it's my favourite. Yeah. Um, it looks really complex with its gradual shading. Yes. Is that, if somebody had bought the kit, that's fine. If they were doing it themselves, how in, is it really important, the positioning of the fabric? The, how, you, how would you graduate the colours if you wanted to do that yourself? First of all, you get a work wall which is a flannel background. Oh, your design wall. Yeah, and then, and then your pieces stick to it. And then you arrange it and you stand back and you have a little reducing glass. So you're looking at it reduced. Stand on your head, you know, do whatever you have to do to get a different slant on it. But just keep looking at it until it has a harmonious excitement to you. I mean, because what you want is for things to blend but not the whole way. If it blends the whole way, then it becomes a big pot of marmalade. You know, <laughs> you know, it's just like chop suey. So it needs to blend and then have a change. And then, and then suddenly have a change. And so you get some definition. Mm. You get a nice square of definition. And, and, and this, this quilt behind you, for instance, I mean, I'm, what I love about this kind of layout, it's very, very simple. You get a big blast of the print and they're big scale prints you need a big piece of it to see what that print yes. is about. And you get it there. And yet, because of the sashing of the little woven stripe in between, it makes this definition. It's very simple, but it, and of course the color makes it hold together. It, well, it does. Um, the bubbly one, that's the same as lavender and sage. Yeah. So why did you call it bubbly? Because I know why you've called that one lavender and sage, because it is. Uh, because it was like <laughs> pink champagne. Okay. You know? <laughs> Uh, it was fizzy. It is, it is fizzy. Yeah, it is fizzy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, the checkerboard of checkerboards, which is behind you. Yeah. Um, you say that you were inspired by the African Kenti cloth for that. Yes. Um, what are you often inspired? I mean, it's beautiful. I've seen all the cloth. It's fabulous. Are you often inspired by fabrics from other countries and oh, yeah. traditional ones? Oh. What are your other favourites? You know, I mean, the, the Japanese boros, you know, which are made Gorgeous. by the peasants. Yes. You know, who take their work clothes and cut them up, make these wonderful blankets for their beds, which have become art pieces around the world. I mean, those things have inspired all of us designers. Right. And that, again, is a wonderful dark palette of, you know, usually dark mm -hmm. indigo blues and so forth. So that, that had an influence on this. I was going for, for dark, the darkest, richest colors. And then just yes. little cracks, a little tiny bit of color in the little corner. Bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. That, sneak, the shell that has a lovely color. Uh, bits of, of rust and orange and so forth to go with these blues. But I love all the blues and the dark. And also, ev between every you know, block is the woven stripe that we get woven in India. These are hand-woven fabrics. Oh, okay. And so I've used that all through. Which is through. in the topiary That's as right. well. Yeah, in the topiary one. And in, in this one, all the way through, we've got the stripes. And that, I, I went for, I used to go for very colorful stripes, lots of different complex colors. Mm -hmm. But I've, this time I've just gone for two colors because I like the boldness, the kind of Regency stripe of it. You yes, know? yes. So I, I, that's fun. Okay. Um, cold frames. I love cold frames. Again, it's almost as if the castle inspired you to do that yeah. because of the door. Didn't it big. go well with the doors? What and, are those things called? Yeah, the studs. <laughs> the the studs. wooden things. Yeah, yeah. So hot frames and cold frames, which is your favorite? You know, they're both so different. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the, the one, the, the hot colors with the oranges mm. is very, very powerful. But I think probably the, the cold frames. With saturated red, you've chosen obviously mainly reds and oranges, but then you put that addition of blue in it. Yeah. Wow, why blue? <laughs> you know, with all that heat, you gotta have something to cool it down yes. a bit, which becomes a spice. Well, see, that, that's my blue oranges against a pink background. Yeah. And there's just something about it. Um, I, I find that when you have a lot of sizzling hot, you need a complexity. So right. that cool streak of blue okay. through it just kind These of gives These are great it design contrast. tips. Contrast, yeah. Um, and the topiary, which we've already talked yeah. about. So it really does echo the topiary garden with its borders the, enclosing these flowers. Yeah. Was that the intention? Well, yes, I, the, the dark palette 
was to, to go with those wonderful... But did you design it thinking, I'm going to do a topiary garden? Or did the name... No, I had the seen quote? the topiary garden. when, when I, This was designed specifically for that garden. Right, okay. Yeah. Vintage library. Yeah. When you chose that, because I in your book you explained about how you love all these books, did you choose yeah. the fabric print in the centre first and then the fabrics around it? Yes, or the I, other way I did, because I knew I was going to have all these warm, leathery you know, books and, and, and these, you know, it was all caramels and lovely golden colors. And so, again, I wanted something a little bit different in the thing. And they had that sky blue, that lovely soft sky blue against those poppies. And I thought that was a perfect way to okay. you know, bring it in. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that. So I tried to ask him a little bit about each of the um, quilts and why he did certain things, which is really interesting because it's not often you get the chance to uh, to ask that. Oh, my God. Crave's new quilts are amazing. He just gets better and better. Love them from Lynn in Essex. They honestly are. They just are. And I, you know, and if I had like this one, if I had to do that, I'd never... I just, I don't know, it just wouldn't look like that. They are beautiful. So luckily we still have some of these left in stock and every time this happens, then they sell out, but this time it's not gonna happen. I am gonna get one of these cause I'm gonna, I mean, it looked lovely on my bed, but can you imagine if you hung this, you know, cause I'm thinking like from the, um, up the stairs from that top wall down to the bottom, stunning. That's what I'm gonna do with mine. So the beauty of this, it's again, the kit has got all of the fabric and all of the instructions you need in it. Shall I just give you a quick show so you can see, because this is where I think 169.99 is very good value. You've got all of the instructions, all of the instructions, but there's 13 different fabrics in here. Now he has chosen 13 fa fabrics that blend beautifully and it's got the oranges fabric, which is my favorite. Now, and what, what he said, if, if you were watching that, that the colours have to change subtly. You've got to get each square has one colour from the last one and the next one. But then this, this frame here is beautiful. So um, I just think it's stunning. And it's all created in squares, all created in squares. And look at the picture. It's then joined diagonally. Just beautiful. Have a look, the only thing you haven't got in the kit is the backing and the wadding, all the top fabric is there. Just add eight inches all the way around to the finished dimensions of 211. And remember, our wadding is extremely good value because we do extra wide. Um, now, exactly the same design, but in a different color. And like I said to him, why have you called it bubbly? Well, I, it's exactly the same design exactly the same design but I mean and I think he actually preferred this one and he said he's called it bubbly because it's I guess it has got a bubbly fabric in it hasn't it so if you love the idea of the lavender and sage but you want to go even more wild then look at this now you know the um I can't get it all out flat but you know the oranges in the other one look at the oranges in this one it's on like this mad pink background with big blue oranges and you've got the oranges in um in the burgundy but this is what he means by bubbly so he's got this print here that's like all like bubbles now that same print is in lavender and sage as well <laughs> Right, remember, this is the same size as the one that's hanging on the wall and the same design.